with that thing. <laughs> but I can't get right. Walked up, tall, walked up with the same shirt. What up, twin? <laughs> <laughs> they can't get right. <laughs> oh, the boy had the same shirt, pant. They just switched the shoes out, huh, Hoop? I had the same jeans on. I ain't even have on jeans. <laughs> what you had on? Camo shorts. What kind of shirt? My Murphy shirt. <laughs> the, the same Murphy shirt. Y'all playing it? Put that on, twin. We did not plan that. Hey, what you wearing? I'm going to wear my blue shirt. Yeah, I'm going to wear mine, too. I right, bet. Yeah. You know how these ONs be? <laughs> you ain't know why. You ain't got some ONs. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got to be ONs. You got some ONs. Oh, <laughs> you, you know they had to uh, call in the Muslim. Um, man, he embarrassed me. We was at the uh, concessions thing, and they were trying to get the big jaw pickles open. <laughs> and... Oh. I'm talking about it's about 20 people in the line. They pointed, they pointed him out. They said, hey, come here. Come here. We, oh, it's only two it. men in the line. Him, then I'm behind him. So they saw him first. Come on. You can do it. Man, my man got the twist in it. Hey, <laughs> 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 look, he was shaking. <laughs> hey, all I saw that nigga little dread bun just got there moving, got there. So he was like, oh, <laughs> hand me some napkins. Hand me some napkins. Had the head wiggle? Yeah, had the head wiggle. <laughs> Head wiggle. Yeah, yeah, head wiggle. <laughs> there you go, Dad's head wiggle, goddamn. Um, but nah, my man got the twist in it, still couldn't get it. And then he looked back at me. Like, hey, he had, you ever seen that uh, face of desperation? I think he did. <laughs> One of us gotta survive. I think he looked at me and, he, and then he did like this. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like, nope, nah, let's see what you do. So he, my man's shaking. He said, uh, let me see the, uh, what you call it? Can opener. The nigga hit the top of that bit. Hit the top of that bit. <laughs> got to shake some. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, I, so I was like, man, get out the way. Left hand. I'm talking about left hand about the, the one, two, three finger and the thumb. <laughs> Here you go, man. My boy was using the wrong hand. What, ain't that usually how you, like, you really, really go in reverse that, that left hand? Bit. You right hand. I, I had it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm right hand. <laughs> so I, that is, he loosened up for you. That's that what he tried yeah. to say. Yeah, but got it ready for you. Yeah. He got it ready for you. If, why he didn't get it ready for himself? Because he was just <laughs> twisting it with all his might before I got the. Uh, gotta get my man a technique. You gotta uh, pat. You gotta pat the bottom. Get that. Up. He did all of that. I don't know. But him. but he did do baby pat. Yeah, now you, you know pat. what I'm saying. But <laughs> you, you pat, pat it at all. <laughs> just like that. Come on in the gym, man. I got you. Do you a couple push ups. Look at look at if y'all watching me on camera, just like that. You, know what I'm saying? you should have seen how they were looking at me. Seven curls. I imagine that's how they were looking at Arthur when he pulled the sword out of the stone. What, what that uh, cartoon, Disney cartoon, or uh, sword in the stone? Nigga, I was glowing out there. Zelda, Zelda or something? Nigga. I, I, I had that blue, uh, Bruce Leroy glow. But yeah, if you need some Hell, shit open, man. man, and you need a man to twist it, holler at me. I got it. You know. That's what I do. But uh jaw openers. But uh here we go. You're tuning in to the dummies podcast. I'm stopped. I'm tall. I'm and uh we back like we never left, cause like we say every week, we never leave. It's episode 294. Yes, 294 consistent episodes from the consistent group. Six more. Uh we back in this thing doing what we do with Sunday. Sunday fun day. Something clipping, but it's cool. We gonna we gonna part through it. Uh man, we in this thing, man. The lights are lighting. Dez is dancing. The music is music and feeling consistent, man, on our way to 300. I've been looking up 300 outfits, man. Like that's I, how seen a, is I seen a mean, yeah, I seen a mean <laughs> toga, boy, that I might put on with the open toe, with the open toe sandals, you Jesus know, them, sound. them Jesus sound. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Man, I don't know, man. Or I might wear the, uh, the, the metal plate, the Roman metal plate with yeah. the sword. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm thinking what I might do for 300 because this spot on, you know, mm, mm, yeah, big 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we in this thing, man, feeling good, feeling feeling amazing. You know, the lights, I'm getting my vitamin D on this side. But where we at with it, Hoop? <laughs> Pause. Um, speaking of that, the new uh, Gladiator about to come out, too. I'm going to use that as some inspiration. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming that dress like Denzel. Use some this is my time. Like Denzel. Mm, you got to have a gold hey, chain boy. rope. With the yeah, see, man, y'all don't know how to have no be, real 300 like episodes. The, the Roman skirt. We're going to be in that bitch just that us, guys. <laughs> 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 These <laughs> niggas dressed up uh, in togas to come look at each other. <laughs> oh, what oh, you yeah. up under that bitch? 
Draw. Boxes, I guess. Lots of briefs. <laughs> tight, nigga. Can't draw. wear the tighter whites. <laughs> Wrestling draws. Maybe some some workout tights, maybe like I, the short version. I I just estimate who to probably have on like some big ass basketball shorts. <laughs> he had them old <laughs> Fab Five shorts on. I got away that from that, man. I got away from that. Man. I grew up, <laughs> man. I grew up a long time ago. I can't. You can't wear them sag ass shorts and draws. No, <laughs> gotta wear the boxer briefs. <laughs> and you don't like to wear. The me used to wear basketball shorts under jeans. Like what was what kind of fools was we, man? Yeah. Like you, I could never really live. trip with them. My you know. I never got into that. I, I think I did like a, you know a little bit. Not but much though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I never was the basketball shorts up under the pants thing. You know that was some weird stuff. Yeah, man. That, was pretty, that usually was the skinny dudes too. It was. It was some skinny like, man. Oh, I, I, I def- believe it. I, I definitely can see wore them it. shorts up under the jeans. You know? Yeah, yeah back in your skinny shorts. days. Yeah. In your little bitty days. Yeah. Yeah, I had too yeah, much. I had them forties on. Nigga like, wore thirty four guys. But that shit so it. crazy. Little Steve, you know, y'all boy had forty two. Cause with the tight tight belt. Yeah. <laughs> nigga. Oh, wow. I had forty four, so I know them niggas didn't need no forties and forty two. <laughs> that shit was stupid. Big forty four. <laughs> the bigger the better. So dumb. Let me get. You ain't got no forties t shirt. Only three. Damn. Nigga went a large at that time. Nigga getting three X's. Yeah. Um. Oh, Your week? Your week. week. Nigga, you had a hell of a week, nigga. It's been real good. Right, it's been right, a real, right, real, right. real cool, good, relaxing week. How your nigga. pickums get on there, though? I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt your week, but how, right, your, how, your, pickums? how your pickums get on there? Nigga, she well, got an asterisk by it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he got, he got, he got <laughs> questionable record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They said you weren't here last week, man. If that's the case. We got to reduce a lot of your uh, stats. Uh, that, no, is, that is half of them. Nigga, the rule is new. You'll be four and one. You'll be one and four right now, for real. Nigga, I have four games on that bitch. But nah, man, the real rule. Is because it's kind of some in house stuff too that you don't want to hit, hit the backstory about, but it's to incentivize you being here as well as if you're not going to be here, you tell us not, you're not going to be here. Communication you know, is what it's incentivizing. Communication is key. That's all it was. And it wasn't, you ain't here, you can't. No, I think it ain't. Uh, <laughs> ain't the bigger picture is be, be cautious with people's times, man. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Be, you know, I don't like to waste people's time, so I don't want them to waste mine. So I if that you. incentivizes, or not. I feel you. When do you like? You know, we're equally good at wasting each other's time. Though. I will say that. Now, only the only difference is that some communicate better than others. Yeah. That's the name. Yeah. yeah. I that's got it. Name. Communicate. I just want to say that. But no, back you know, to your week. My bad. No, I don't mess up your time. Like, I'm going to miss. I, mean, I ain't mess up y'all time, though, but I, I miss you. know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, uh, the week was great, man. It was amazing. Pretty relaxing. I ain't been to work since last, last Thursday. So, by the time I've been made, by what that is, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 days off. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool, cool vacation from work work. Um, so that's been good, man. Went to Mexico. Shouts out to the girl, man. Got me a real cool trip, real good Look birthday trip. Birthday trip. Now that I think about it. Happy birthday. 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 We, birthday. I think birthday. we said that last yeah, week. They interrupted trip. something real important to tell this nigga happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, I'm to, talking. To say something more around the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the middle of talking and they bring up his birthday. What thank the y'all. Fuck? Thank y'all for, you know, putting that putting that hierarchy on with the importance. Uh, but the, the, the Mexico was cool, man. I got to do some outdoorsy stuff, some cool stuff. I just... I know we wanted to do some, you know what? So we just went up there and picked. When you know, you go to the little table, they got their eighteen books. Oh, you can do this, you can do that. I'm like, oh, look, they're in a, they're in a cave and some water. Let's do that. Not reading <coughs> what this entails. Not reading what I need to wear. Just do that. We just showed up. Just, mm-hmm. just showed up. That's how you trip right there. But that wasn't always a good thing because I ended up going on a trip to them caves, not knowing that it was a cave. cave. I was thinking like, you know, you see a cave, but right there I could see outside. Mm-hmm. So, but no, boy, you go 65 feet up under, you got to walk through water, you got to climb through water, you got to have the light, the hat light on like them niggas who be going, doing coal mining and all of that, man. You got to swim at some point, at some point you can walk through the swim, at some point you can't feel none of the bottom of it. And the ceiling is maybe that high, and some parts of it is, is bigger and higher, but there's like spikes coming down with kind of, you claustrophobic. Be Was wet. that your first time going in the KK like yes. that? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I, um... Yeah. I know what you're talking about. When I was like, I think the fifth grade or something like that in Wisconsin, we went to, it's a field trip. You go to a cave and you got to purposely wear trash clothes because mm-hmm. you got to get on your hands and knees and crawl through that bitch. And then they'll take you to a little spot and they'll say like, you know, if you, um, I ain't going to fuck that word up. Claustrophobic. <laughs> I felt my tongue not prepared to do that. Uh, but if you claustrophobic. <laughs> you almost got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you that. <laughs> um, they they was like you can go you know go this way, yeah, but if you yeah. want to try it, come this way. Cause boy, mm-hmm. nigga, that bitch got so tight on you, yeah. you all that bitch. And now imagine that because it's a swimming. different. It's called a show cave, and a, I don't know what the other one called show cave where they got pavement and 
Mm-hmm. You can walk yeah. through it and they got lights and you can just yeah, like Ruby Falls and stuff. Like yeah, that. but but the other one, ninety percent of the time we was in water. You get to swim through some of it. You get the swim tour area. Um, but he gave us that warning that if you're claustrophobic, my boy hit us with, anybody here claustrophobic? Somebody was like, yeah. He was like, well, too late. <laughs> it was midway through. Ain't nobody was going back to bring us back. Pre-trip. <laughs> oh, you claustrophobic. Them niggas hit us midway. If you <laughs> so you had to like really swim uh, and you couldn't see what was in the water. Like we had the vest and shit on you. Like you could you could see, like the water was super clear. It was like soup because it's rainwater. So they make sure like before you get in there, you shower, you wash all the chemicals off you. You can't bring no watches, no nothing in there. They give you a wetsuit. That was some weird shit putting on the wetsuit. I think my shit was a little too tight. That's what you go under your toe. Super tight, right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but one nigga shit was sagging. <laughs> he had on a sagging wetsuit. That's wild. Um, but yeah, man, that 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 is something. And, and so the water when you get in there is rainwater. They want to preserve it, so they make sure you clean when you get in there. Fool, you can look in it. It's just clear water, and like you, it's little life down there, like real baby fishes, some some. Frog, some little baby stuff like just just life in there and the stuff nigga that comes jaws over there. Be look at these dumb ass niggas. <laughs> 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 nigga, nigga, bite this nigga yeah, feet off. Nigga. You always be scared of shit like that because it's was nature. It's wild. You can't say why he in here. He because he felt like it. Nigga, I, had about, too. Too. I had about six. I had about six panic attacks. I ain't gonna lie. Like internally, for what like, happened? You just feel yourself like, oh, can I breathe? How, how long I got to swim before I can feel the bottom? Like, food not knowing where the bottom at and when you going to get to the bottom? But you had on life vest, though, right? Yeah, you still must, yeah. But if you come up, nigga, what the fuck you do? You still come up, baby. I'm in Like, yeah, man. This bitch, this, and then, you know, them, them thoughts start to intrude. They be like, hey, man, what if this bitch just fall on me? <laughs> what if this bitch just fall on me? Nigga, I was going to have a lifetime move right, right like, there. What am I supposed to do? I started thinking about the kid, not, not no offense, but started thinking about, like, the kids in India. Got stuck on the ground in the mm-hmm. cave and all, all that kind of stuff popping your head, mid fun. But at the end, man, I felt like I conquered something. We would have parted for you. Yeah. Oh, I ain't want that. I want help. I want to come party. <laughs> <laughs> we would have dressed your seat up. We would have come party, man. Then we went hit the speedboat. My first time driving a, a speedboat. Uh, that was cool, too, man. I uh, had another panic attack once we got in that water again because we went over there. Then we went snorkel and some little statues with the underground mines and all that, man. So that was cool. Um, but you know, mid water in the open water, you know, y'all niggas been. I ain't getting that water, you know. I'm thinking sharks and you know, with <laughs> him on the Gulf and the, the coast or whatever it is. And it just, but it, it uh, that was fun, man. I enjoyed myself, I really did. And I want to keep experiencing things like that that puts you, takes you out your comfort zone. Hey, you know, Absolutely. stuff I was just having that conversation, stuff like that is dope because you do kind of conquer it, but I think. My biggest part is the fear. Like, I, like we talked about, I don't like being scared. When I get scared, I get mad. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you nigga jump out, ah, bitch, I punch you. <laughs> like, you still say, like, why you scared me? Bitch, I don't want to be scared. I, I want to be happy, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so when I get scared, I what get about? mad. God. You ain't never got scared before and got mad. <laughs> what the fuck you doing anyway? What like, you doing that for? Like, when somebody jump out, ah, bitch, yeah, punch Yeah, somebody you. scare you, yeah, but. Yeah, <laughs> scared. <laughs> so, I don't want to be in the water scared because then I'm going to get mad that I brought my ass down here. But. <laughs> but I could also see, mm-hmm. um, like, the adventure and to say, like, damn, I saw some shit in Mexico in a cave. That shit was dope. And that's an experience that, that live in the memory because you probably can't pull out the phone up under the cave and Not shit. Yeah, yeah, no. Can't even bring it in there. Where yeah, was that? No. We had to give a lockers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Lockers. But the baby is locked in the world. So if somebody don't want to rob us, it was easy. Yeah, I bet. That Turn that bitch three times, that bitch broke. <laughs> but you, you got to twist it to the, with your left hand. You just got to twist it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Le- left, hand, left hand twist. Yeah, I know I know all about the left hand twist. <laughs> You'll be able to get it all, man. But my week was good, man. Cool. Um, just looking forward to getting back to work. I guess, I guess, I guess. Um, but not really. But how was your week, Todd? Um, pretty cool week, man. Real busy this week. Um. Everything that happened Tuesday, of course. Um, yesterday, I got a chance to hang out with Baron and Tuskegee uh, for their homecoming. Hey, how was it? Didn't know how the homecoming. How was the shit? Didn't know how. To, yeah, she was dope. Um, they they had a, a, a nice little setup down there. You know, they they you know upgrading a whole lot of their stuff at the facility, so it's dope out there. Um, unfortunately, you know, after you know. Homecoming and all that kind of stuff. What happened now? Yeah, that shit's sad. That shit's sad. But um, overall, though, man, ten out of ten. I would highly recommend us again going to. You sound know, like a full review. <laughs> I, I, I would definitely recommend us getting out there and you know showing our faces and you know taking in some of the vibes out there. Um, you were singing a part of 
Ball and Parlay? No. Nah, Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. No, nah. I didn't even say it wrong. That's their personal song or something? Yeah, that's their. That's like when they the But it, it was dope to see. I recorded it while they were doing it to see how they, you know, get down when it. I mean, that, that live is the whole atmosphere when they do that. So it's like at LSU singing. Hey, Pretty much, yeah. Okay. It is. Um, also, uh, shout out to my dog, Dre, uh, head coach at Murphy. Went and got and checked them boys out. Um, mm-hmm. They won. Um, they look real good. It looked real good. Uh, so, you know, it was cool hanging out with y'all boys at the game, too. You know, good seeing Joy. And I was hoping she would be cheering, but, you know, they in competition, so I get it. I had so I had a gripe, but not a real gripe about the game. Next time we go to the game, can we go sit down? <laughs> My feet was hurt. Man. Oh, man. I don't know. That I don't one know. was a real loud. I think, I think it was just. Niggas stood up the whole time. I don't know why y'all want Coming. to be cool kids. That shit was dope. Had a front row seat, man. When I walked in, I seen the ball. I was like, oh, this is, this is what we used to. If you went to a LaFleur game, you know standing room. The cool it, kids the cool was kids on the sideline. So, I mean, you know. I'm that's why when I saw y'all, I, I was honestly, like. Honestly, I stopped there because when I came in, I looked around. I was like, damn, it ain't no real seat. Like, it was seats, but I knew mm-hmm. y'all was coming too. I was like, it wasn't enough room for everybody to get. So I was just like looking around, looking around. I was like, well, over there, what twin that was that? Not y'all, the other twins. <laughs> um <laughs> Who was uh, the first twin? You, you, you and him. Yeah. Y'all were twins. Called each other. Hey, well, man, what you wearing? Well, well, they the first. Y'all the second. One or the other. What up, twin? What you wearing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what kind of show? <laughs> but it really yeah, wasn't man. no. And so I just stood there and I, I had kept planning the move, but it just worked. Yeah, it did. It did. And I'm glad we And it's a good that. seat. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's I cool. It's right there in the action. Yeah. They had about three rebounds and an assist. It's a great seat. Yeah, you can see how tall they is. You can hit a coach. That's cool to hit a coach. Because let me tell you one thing about Andre. My man got a goddamn mean goddamn substitute. <laughs> if you fumble the ball, drop the ball, don't take the charge, don't be in the right spot, yeah. my man going to sub your ass yeah, the fuck yeah, out yeah. the game quick. I love it. I Great love seat, it. But, terrible but, stand. Yeah, I'm with Hood on now. I want to sit down. But um, shout out to Dre. Shout out to um, the Murphy Panthers. Them boys can go far. Yeah. And um, what's yeah, who, um, 12 taller than me. Yeah, yeah, and talk. You, you need some glasses. Talk. No, no. And I know his mom slightly taller than. Oh, you know his mom. Yeah, um, we used to work together. She um. That's how it. niggas. That's how niggas be. A kid coming up, a real good. Oh, I knew his mama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we took barber stuff together. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say his mama. He, never mind. But um, <laughs> he got the height, man. He's six. He, I how I wonder how old that yeah, kid man, is. Do we know? Six five, Joe six four. What is? Nah, man, that kid about six couple inches. About seven, six six seven. Couple inches. Well, yeah. regardless. He he needs to go to you know some training, weight though, training right? and right. skill training. But he right. he got the size, he got the athleticism to do it. Right. right. Hopefully he got yeah. the time to do it too. So, uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, uh, tomorrow Veterans Day. Shout out to all the veterans now that we know. Uh, hey, thank you for your services. Thank um, you. Yeah, boy, it's hard, ain't it? Yeah, it's hard to hear you not, my boy. Man, I used to be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Shout out to the boy though, man. Um. But aside from that, man, that was, you know, my week. Like I said, real productive and real fun. Got out, seen a lot this week. Joe, what about you, B? Um, pretty much the same. Been um been doing some house stuff. Um the day is coming soon. I don't know if I even talked about the house on the podcast, but um if you know, you know. And <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> hey, but um went to the game. Shout out to Andre, you know what I'm saying? Um, walked right in. He schooled it too. No payment who, needed. He, that's his other man, Scooter. Oh, yeah, who that, that's his other. Who, who, that's what the, the real twins call him. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so you acknowledging that you were twins? No. The other twins. Well, you said the real twins. <laughs> the real twins. We yeah. the fake ones. I was just going off of y'all. <laughs> we the fake ones. <laughs> crazy. Fake twins, so crazy. <laughs> but, um, the ghetto twins, huh? <laughs> Hey, mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was dope going to see them. Um, you know, I don't get a chance to to support them as much as I would like to, but shit, they in Mobile. So them being up here, I think they, yeah, they come up here for the Hoover tournament. Hopefully, they don't play Hoover. Don't they got something good tomorrow? Somebody got some kind of good tournament going? On I don't tomorrow? know, but I do want to start going to more of those games. I be having fun. Uh, I want basketball and football. I told Wayne I was going to come to a lot of three games next year. I might go on the road to McSwain's son game, too. You know, What's the three game? Hmm? Wayne's son. Wayne's son, three. Yeah. That's his oh. name. Arbor Coker, the third. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. I ain't know, I ain't know. I just ain't know. Okay. Yeah. Had to shit. get the boy the name three. Let me know. Twin, I want to go to a twin game. Twin. Real I twin. definitely want to see Hoover in action. Yeah. Real twin. Hey, fool. That nigga's different. Nobody's stopping him in Alabama. I'm going to say that right now. Nigga's a machine. I ain't six, gonna even lie. 6, 10, 6, 8, 6, 7. Yeah, and, and yeah he was saying, he was like, because Khalil team was pretty big. Yeah. He was like, man, they they probably biggest person is one of our smallest person. Right. Yeah. God damn, what kind of team you got? That they point got, guard. Mon Stars big. got the, <laughs> they got the Mon Stars really center. loaded. But it's going to be a three-peak? Yeah, it's going to be a three-peak. Them boys loaded. Yeah. And you can't do nothing with that big boy. If they feed him the ball, you can't do nothing with And that's the and crazy part he about more, He more agile right now, right. too. That's the crazy part. They just played a game and – they wasn't really giving him the rock. He had like sixteen, but shit, the others got off. So it don't like you can you can be you can literally pick your parts. You got to pick your parts. Um, and they then they play, got a six nine nigga coming. Um, the they play probably their biggest competition, Huffman, this week. And I'm yeah. definitely going for sure. So for sure. But um, that was my week. That was dope. Um, sitting on the well, standing on the sidelines with the cool kids. I was like, okay, this remind me of them. Movil by Movil. 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 Dummy. Because because it was a mix between Mobile and Tomville. Yeah, you fixed that one. You tried to fix it. Because I was in Tomville. So Mobile. Mobile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You say something. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them niggas hustling. You know what I'm saying? Hustling what? With the gangsters. Oh, no. Just just bad. Just bad. A dollar, here, like, a dollar there. Bet, bet you mean like selling Skittles or something. <laughs> Them niggas used to make a little cake though. I ain't gonna lie, the candy man is cool. The candy man did oh, use man, until cake. he got found out about. And yeah, these I ain't never got. Why y'all hating on the kids selling yeah. candy? <laughs> and <laughs> um, R.I.P. the candy man. Mm, yeah, the real candy man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that. So um, but um, let me move it. What about you, Sock? Uh, cool week. Uh, I'm in the middle of competition season. Yeah. So I got I got cheer competitions damn near every week this month. I got another one Tuesday. So uh, it's 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 dope though. I actually get into it and I know it. I've been around it so long now, so I know what's a winning routine and what's not. I be watching. I'm invested in it. Uh, but I had to laugh at uh, Todd and Jack because Jack, yeah. you know, new to the, new to the sport, so he's seeing how it go. And 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 when I was there, I couldn't do number laugh because. Almost every man and even some women were sitting there with their phones out watching the <laughs> Alabama LSU game and then watching the competition. Because if you've been to one, it's a bunch of teams going, and some of them ain't always your team. So in between, you know, you watch the routine, but then I'm watching the game too. So uh, it's just, you know, a dope little event. But they schedule it during the time where everybody watching the game. So um, that was cool. Uh, what else happened this week? Uh, that was it. Just work, man. Uh, and it's always cool, man, to see – uh, I just think more about business stuff and uh, just to see, uh, I don't know, it's cool, man, to have opportunities to bless others with blessings. For sure. You get blessed, you bless others with blessings. Uh, and just like I said, uh, just in the business world, it's kind of cool to see uh, your business make like, make a little change and then everybody gets the benefit from the perks. So, uh, shouts out to y'all boys, man, and everything we do with that. So, uh, that was really just uh, it as far as my week is concerned. I'm trying to think uh, what else I did this week. Other than that, man, I'm still having fun with that fucking slushing machine, man. Well, y'all have got to get one of those things. Pe people were fucking with me, and they was like, oh, have a breakfast over there making margarita. Nigga, it's a slushy machine. It doesn't. It's not a margarita machine. Right. So that slushy that y'all laughing at will knock your fucking socks off. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you can you make a, a just a regular slushy like a coke? Why not? Slushy? Yeah, you can make anything. Right. You can make frosties, and alcohol, milkshakes. You can <laughs> make <laughs> smoothies. You make. Can you not add alcohol in that? <laughs> or, or, it'll only work if alcohol. Is right. <laughs> if it's, if alcohol it's only in that motherfucker. You ain't gonna spin the most. Because I got the because I got the Bartista thing. That's only Bartesian. like yeah Bartista. Say Bartista. Bartista. Yes. I thought you talking but about WWE. It, it's a bar tea. It's for liquor, right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, at the bar you think. Okay, I had a bad moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you own it. And see how you can move on after you own it. Yeah. Just when you don't, that we got to keep fucking oh, with you. Oh, you have them bitches at 9.30 a.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, my boy, he, he been slushy. That bitch stay spinning. I'm like, shit. For real. This nigga in Mexico? 
<laughs> hey, that bitch do be spinning though. Um, <laughs> and I love it. Um, also, RIP to Quincy Jones. Uh, yeah. yeah, the legendary uh, yeah. music producer, pioneer, died at 91. Um, left us with tons of music, man. For sure. Yeah, like one it. of the biggest. Some of the best. One of the biggest in music, period. Uh, responsible oh, no. for all kind of different hits. And I mean, if you don't know who Quincy Jones is, I'm not, it's, it's no need to even go through that. He got over 28 Grammy wins uh, and worked with different artists uh, all the way since 1961. Um, Responsible for um, Fresh Friends. Yep. Black, yeah. So uh, rest in peace to him. Uh, what a life uh, that he left uh, as far as music is concerned, producing is concerned. Uh, rest in peace to a legend. For sure. Hell of a story. Mm-hmm. Hell of a story. <laughs> and a lot of them popping up now. They're like, what? 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 I thought I knew everything. I can't, but not, I mean. Is there a doc for him yet? Because I, nah, I can't wait for that. I mean, That's gonna be it a doc has too. been, but. Think about being responsible for Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson and right. Will Smith. Uh, that's, that's crazy, a, just in them two. <laughs> right, them two alone. And the Simpsons. And, and uh, it's a few things. It's a, often powers. It's a few theme songs he's responsible for as well. Sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I mean, 91, hey, that's great. Life. That's why I said, what a life. Yeah. You know, right. Like, yeah. what a life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what you hope. Like, you hope, you know, the day that you leave, that you that you left a legacy behind of, of, of good accomplishments and things that people can say like you made a, a, a difference in life. For sure. And for the people who always think it's over, that man made a thrill ass fifty song, bro. For sure. He was in the fifties. Kind of like uh, Morgan kinda... Freeman getting his first break when he's fifties. So you got a, long, that a lot of life to live, man. I never knew that. I just always knew in everything he was in. He was old. And he came he, in glory kind of old. Even that nigga young old. was semi-old in glory. Because this nigga old forever, dog. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, who the he was Nigga in started a, as a sergeant. He was in a movie before 50. He was in a big movie before 50. But it was a black movie, so maybe. Yeah, I didn't seen the pimp slap some white women or something on some kind of movie. I don't know what the name was. <laughs> for real. Like, for real. If hey. I put up his um, IBDM or I something, it's but, something but, in, um, Type in Morgan Freeman but first movie. explains it, fool. That explains it a lot. Because I was like, man, that nigga ain't never not been 1921 old. Or he was shit. only young in one movie. And it's something. And he wasn't young. Yeah, that wild out. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm about 200. Y'all, um, you found it. It was something in the key or something like that. Early work and rise to perform. Freeman worked as a dancer. That nigga was a dancer. He was all dancer, around performing. Dancer, at the fair. That was at the fair. But, it was 64. But you know what? Back then, you had to be able to do all three. I don't know what the Yeah, three to be was, able to, because a lot of that shit went, because a lot of them started act, yeah. in play. Right. Yeah, so yeah, play, you play, probably play. had to do it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, in 1971, how old was he? Damn, what was that? Freeman movie? started yeah, PBS yeah. Children's. What year was he born? Man, I'm telling you, bro. It, it was I know for a fact because it was, it was. I think it was like the nigga that played Superman in it. He was, and he was, it was born in '37 and started. It was in an all black movie, Shit. but I can't think of the he name. He was born in '37 and starred in something in '71. God, <laughs> hey, Lee. hey, stick to it. And when you see him, he be looking relatively like for an 87 year old man. Man, yeah. look healthy. Like he got another 20 years left. He's still on rap albums this year. <laughs> That's for true. Real, for yeah, That's very true. Young Metro don't trust you. He's gonna Joe, fuck your shoes. The nigga love. That one, what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's his first move. Well, that might have been the first, but was that wasn't the one I was talking about. He was 30 at that point? He was 67? Yeah, he was, born he was younger, yeah. Movie. He been in movies all his life. I see Big Break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Dang. The Electric Company. Ain't that what somebody said? But that was in 71. Yeah, but I, I'm saying, is that the movie you were talking about? No. no. That's a TV oh. show. That a that's a children TV show. Got gotcha. you. Uh, well, shout out here, his first move was the pawn broker in 1964. I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. This nigga old. That's yeah, cool. That, that nigga ain't oh. never not. And he old. always yeah. been old in the <laughs> movie that we didn't see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. came yeah. out. That nigga was old. Yeah. Yeah. Drive yeah. Miss Daisy. That old. nigga was old. God damn it. Right. Um, did y'all see those uh, monkeys in South Carolina? What they was doing with them? Uh, residents are on high alert in South Carolina, uh, in Beaufort County, South Carolina, after 43. Uh, monkeys fled from a local research facility. I don't know shit about nothing, but I'm scared about some research monkeys running. Yeah, 
Yeah, what kind of research have yeah. they been doing on uh, these goddamn monkeys? That all of them had to get out of there. Yeah, hey. with ooh syphilis or something. <laughs> hey. It's gonna be like the gremlins. That be gonna talk to your ass. Hey. Like, be like when it. Spike with the uh, the, the leader of gremlins yeah. when he can start talking. <laughs> I real Jumanji. What, what kind of research were they doing on them these monkeys? Was, them niggas was stealing police cars in Jumanji, <laughs> <Wow>. shooting gun, <laughs> shotguns. Oh, them <laughs> monkeys was wild. <laughs> was wild was smart. Hey, we gonna be taking another vaccine soon. That's what I'm trying to figure. You gonna take it? Bro? You taking it? Y'all taking it? Yep. No, I'm taking the monkey vaccine. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be after after the last one. You know. Glad I hadn't suffered any side effects that I know of just yet. I don't know everything I'm going through. It might be my make my back hurt a little. More. I don't I know. What you're about to say. Um, but it it will make your me back question. Issues. I will question it a lot more than the past one. I'll say that. Niggas are taking it. If it add 15 more minutes to my stroke game, I'll take that. <laughs> for six Shoot years. Me up, nah. For six years, then your shit fall off. <laughs> hey, that might be a good trade. I shit might not need it. I might not need it post 50 or something. Hey, nigga, shit, my, I woke up, I got up, my shit was still in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I love that, something. That damn vaccine. <laughs> nigga like, oh, vampire broke my dick. My dick. Small package. <laughs> oh, it's still there. Dummy, dummy. Small package. No, nah, but I just wanted to say that because I know usually when you see shit like that, they say only one of them something has been on. captured. They found one. Uh, the other 42, them niggas know what to do. But you know we never, lost. we never going to get the rest of that. Man, you know how hard it is to catch some monkey. Them niggas is trained climbers. Jumpers. And fast. Them niggas ain't slow. And they small and small. Yeah, and, and, and they, like, they been in a zoo. Or in a in a a, a captive a yeah, confined a, area captured environment or whatever right. you call it captured juiced. environment they've been in captivation getting juiced up and now them niggas outside and they juiced you won't up. catch them them niggas up. What? there's too many trees super yeah. Yeah, yeah. in them holes um but hopefully they catch them and hopefully nothing comes of this and I do want to know what kind of research these monkeys have been right what you know. what you shot them up with like what you need to know about monkeys you and then if they it. bite a person what's gonna happen um, do they turn into Spider Man an eight foot monkey. Monk, there's gonna be a new superhero, Monkey Man. Probably like that whole talking and shit. Is that racist if man, they come out with a new superhero? Down, keep Monkey Man. Forever. We outside. <laughs> hey, he'd be firing basketball or football. Monkey Man. Whatever sport he want to play. Light too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a caramel. He caramel right now. He's a light skin. Man. I want. We was talking uh, at the beginning of the conversation. It's gonna lead me into two more topics or mm-hmm. another topic or whatever. But have y'all noticed? That TV now is starting to be more relaxed with like cussing and kind of shit that used to be a little borderline. You noticing that they kind of saying it a lot more on on. Cause I feel like Nick Saban cuss every week. For sure. He gonna he gonna get it out. My man gonna cuss um, oh, on but game yeah. day. Uh, um, but I yeah. noticed like even on I was watching CNN, but it dropped fucking hey, right. shit. When they try to act like, but you noticing that? Have you noticed that they starting to cuss a little bit more? Uh, SNL saw, go uh, crazy. I also saw Michelle, Michelle Beadle slip up and say "nigga" yesterday. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw that shit. <laughs> so yeah, it, yeah. it was you could tell she was trying to say "nuggets," but she read "nigga," but it sounded like she had a natural flow of the "nigga" come out. Well, right. that's oh, kind of like that Yank shit. Yank shit? What's that? That Alabama shit. Naysayers. Yeah, the naysayer. Oh, Lank, oh, 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 Lank. oh yeah. Lank. I'm thinking, oh. I think I'm going way <laughs> back to, to the movie Yank. Lank. Damn Yankees. I don't know <laughs> but, what talking about. But yeah. everybody know what it is. But um, That's because the nigga who made it is a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said let nigga know. But I don't know. It's whatever he said. It's naysayer. He, but, said naysayer, um, naysayer. he never said naysayer. But let him naysayer SNL like. go crazy. Um, On CNN, you ever, stock you ever seen um, Rowwoods? Show mm-hmm. that nigga, yeah, he go there. Mm-hmm. I think they're gonna still only let you go so far. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't think you're ever gonna go crazy, but even though Disney is Disney, who knows? My boy might get fined fifty grand every time saying, he start cursing yeah. on TV. You know stuff like that. So, right. but I think, I think they're more they, willing. I think they're more willing to deal with it though. Like you know what you signed Pat McAfee for. You know what you was gonna get when you signed him. You also know who Nick Saban is and his intensities and how that go. She Carso been been slipping up cursing for the last 15, 20 years. As long as you end up there going crazy <laughs> like the dumbest, it's all good. Yeah, but <laughs> but for the dummies, I I, I do want to uh, calm it down a bit. No, not calm it down. I, I'm, I've I asked that question about TV because I actually think it's leading and stemming from the podcast world. Yeah, sure. I think that more the vision and thoughts that we had years ago uh, to start podcast, we're actually seeing the importance of it now. Mm. Podcast is its own platform that you can create your own form of media. 
Uh, and I know people sometimes, like, oh, there they go with another podcast and another this, another that. Right. But if, and I'll, I'll tie back to that too, but if you look at uh, one of the things that they said helped uh, better win the election was going on a lot of podcasts and going on a lot of streaming places because those are the new forms of media. Like, it's cool. We can go hit CNN and we can go hit MSNBC and all these places, but uh, podcasts where you can talk direct to people Direct to voters, like some of these people who aren't checking out CNN and who aren't watching MSNBC, right. uh, they played a pivotal role in uh, in the election. Uh, sure. So I, I, I brought that up because we have a media platform that we've had for six years now, coming on episode 300, and it's showing that podcasts are playing pivotal roles. So you think um, Kamala should have did Joe Rogan? She didn't necessarily have to. I mean, we I we, why not. we I mean we we can we can split hairs on like what she should have done and, and, and couldn't have did. But I mean, maybe it's not necessary to go on Joe Rogan. Right. Those people over there, maybe maybe they felt like wasn't gonna be the people that's gonna change to vote for her anyway. Right. I don't know. I, I think don't think should've... that. And, and from the the number of votes she lost, her going on Joe Rogan wasn't well, finna, finna change that. Right. I think it. I, I think it would have been good for her to go on there because I think it would have given. A different side to her, cause I was listening to him this morning on the way over here, and he basically like I really wanted to sit down with her because I don't want to be, I don't want to have those conversations where you're sitting here having these speech. I just want to have a conversation. About, like I didn't know she was a roller skater. I want to talk to you about your roller skating career when you, which and like you know stuff like like loosen up. Which I, I I didn't think that like I don't think Joe Rogan gonna be in there on a gotcha moment. Yeah, I'm just nah. I'm just saying like they probably looked at it from a calculated, what can we gain from this right now? Because it was only they, yeah. like it just went out there like twelve days before the election. That's when he invited Trump on. So, like, can this affect and change now? Can you find 12 more million people to vote for you or however many people? I think it was, like, 5 million for real. But are they going to do that from me going on here? I don't think so right now. She was just dealt a bad hand. I mean, she ain't do the best, but she did the best that she could with the moment. Yeah, but my my more focus is on, like, the podcast industry. I ain't really down on her yet just yet, but. Just the thoughts and the influences that you guys have a platform, and it, it's it's showing to be a pretty big platform right now. It's fruitful for free speech, right. somewhat. Tell somebody don't. Yeah, like but sometimes it. you can go too far, like yeah. um, like the Adam Twenty Two. You know, yeah. sometimes different stuff happen. But um, and that's yeah. why he fading away too. Oh, faded. Yeah, he's fading away. Like <laughs> you, you, you don't really see nothing on him no more. No, you know, from up but, there to down um, there. You really just got to be responsible. And I've learned that from this. Like, oh, you did? I did. If you notice, I don't say too much crazy stuff. Well, too much offensive stuff. Okay. So, yeah, that that's two totally different things. But On purpose, I'll say. From people, like, saying, oh, yeah, you know, I I whoop the whoop that. Listen, listen. And, oh, Okay. So once you figure out that people listen, or once you know that people are being offended by what you say, you ain't trying to offend nobody. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to give somebody a good experience. It's what they said. Um, more than anything, um, you ain't got to worry about the powers that be. They can't censor you. They can't, you know what I'm saying, charge you or uh, hit your pocket and because of what you put in. can they? They can't censor you. Cause I, I'm, I'm not like, listening. Because yeah. you can still well, no, put the shit out. Well, no, like, well that, but it, they still can affect you. Because what popped in my head just now is Kai. I mean, um, on Constantine, uh, Quavo was on there. He was like, "Man, uh, I need to go take a break, y'all. You know what? I want to roll up. I want to smoke." Constantine was like, "You could do that right." He was like, "Nah, nigga, I ain't doing that. I want a McDonald's commercial like you." He do. So in some, some well, so well, some well, well, that wasn't the platform right. censor, and that was Quavo censoring right. himself. I know he had enough. So sense. meaning the powers that be can still censor you, even though not they're, on that they're not directly. censoring the show. There's, oh, I know. There's I know, Quavo know. censoring right, himself, the, right, but I think they can that. censor it other ways. Because what did Kodak do? He popped the right. pill. Popped or the pill. Well, he yeah. threw something up, a yeah. vitamin yeah, or yeah, something. Right. And he could talk to. But but that's a person who probably not caring about a McDonald's commercial. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, you know. Maybe. Uh-huh. Maybe. Because, I, again, that's why I feel like the, oh, the overall to, theory of this conversation right. is because things are changing. Yeah, this, this space um, here is free for all. For I feel like. You know, really got a whole lot of laws that pre- prevent you from putting Do we feel shit. like. I'm trying to find a good way to talk about it without y'all niggas going crazy, but. <laughs> good luck. Only in this instance, 
motherfucking listeners. Only in this instance do we feel like Trump has a good, uh, has a, a big hand to play in the way desensitizing. The way he get on I think so. TV and talk, I and think it should. he's gotten so numb to it, and Too he sad. says whatever he wants to say, and then they 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 put it out, and is that making it well? Like now, it's creating another lane for other people to come out and say what they want to say. In some of instances, course. in some instances, now nah, I'm, I'm gonna say in some instances because he can get away with it, but we can't. Right. I don't think we gonna Facts. get away. We not getting away with a lot of the stuff he says if Facts. we came out here and said it and thought it. And well, I'm not talking about we and and like you said in, in instances, but I'm talking about like like we seeing people. Cuss a little bit more on TV. Mm-hmm. We seeing like, not just him, the McAfee's, the 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 people on ESPN, on CNN, right. on on all these different places. That's what I'm. I'm the overall tone. I I believe so, cause I mean, if you high up, and I mean like celebrity of some sort, you are gonna get away with it. So yeah, now we depending as, on how it's done too. You know how, like, I still think there's a way to do it because some of those cuss words and things that they say is is we can't get up there saying niggas and bitches and hoes and shit like that. I don't think on well, TV. Well, why are you okay. saying that right now? Because we do it, and it comes. We, come on, I don't act like you ain't sit here and ran on a rant and bitched the nigga out for twenty minutes before. And you ain't, you can't do know. that on TV. I don't say the B word, <laughs> man. You do, and, come on. And, you, and again, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I get it. I, 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 you're not gonna get on TV and say bitch, nigga, ho. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about that. I'm just saying when I turn on the TV, you're gonna hear a shit come out. You're gonna hear an ass come out. Mm-hmm. A fuck come out from time to time. Right. And that was at one point you never heard that. Remember they always talked about sure. the little delay, the bleed. Right. For sure. The mm-hmm. people wouldn't get up there and do that. And now you're seeing it regularly, weekly now. That's right. kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. Cause, cause even now. You can't say stuff on a breakfast club that you can stay, say on like be a dummy, dummy, dummy. I don't know why he did that, but uh, black. <laughs> it sound like you said breakfast club. Breakfast I don't club. know what he did. Pick one, right. <laughs> pick one, got All know. them hoes, got <laughs> <there. laughs> So I mean, because one is you know over the radio and one is on um, cable mm-hmm. news, so. It's just different. You don't hear Charlemagne saying, you know what I'm saying, that shit like that. He might give his opinion, but and that's I why that, I don't and, know and, if he and, ever cursed. And in instances like that, that's where I see the differences. Because on his podcast, he is wow. Wow. Yeah. But that's on different. that radio, it's, it's different. Right. It's but way he dressed The regulation on the radio is different. That shit going to hit your pocket on there and versus your own platform, you ain't got to worry about it. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. So I it's get just that. like. You know, which I, is, I say that this. to say that it's still gonna be them tight, tight, tight which, restrictions. On which that is radio which is why I, I do think that, um, in this instance only, you have to give. Let me not say credit. You have to kind of give credit to <laughs> Trump for doing that shit because in in a in a sense he's made it to where people feel like they can just say it, like they can like they it. can get away with. Again, I not, I'm not talking about the egregious shit he's saying. I'm just saying. Free sh- the stuff that you normally wouldn't see on TV, you're starting to see people more compelled to s- say it. And I think that it's an appetite for people to, they don't want that polish shit no more. They don't want the, the politician that feel like they lying to you and they feel know. like they being, I still want that. I don't. For sure. I, I do. As a politician, I want, especially at that office right there, I yes, want man. somebody who is better than me in my Sick sense. Of who who, who cares sense. about. The thoughts of other people. That's my part. My my part. I want somebody who, yes, I'm a monitor what I say because I don't want to purposely offend anybody. I care. I care that you do that, but I also want you to be authentic and not just dress it up and just saying it just to say it, like being a politician. You know what that term means. I don't want to just see that. You know. I don't want my politician coming. I don't fuck with none of these niggas. I don't want them to say right. that either. Right. That's what he said. But <laughs> I want people that that's. Like saying they're gonna do stuff for the middle I don't want to see a politician sitting up there calling women bitches. I it didn't happen on our platform before, but I don't want to see my politician do that. My elected official, the, uh, the president of the United, I don't want to see that. But if I want to go get a house and you're gonna give me fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, that's who I want. It's, it's rolling over into the church. Y'all saw that that pastor like it's some holes in here today. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> what church you watch? We, no, nah, we see we see what who to be going. No, he, be, he be over there at the cussing pastor. Blame the algorithm. See, you know, what I'm saying? Right, it was a like blame the algorithm. Not me and my boy really was up there. Like it's some hoes. Yeah, but it's a reason that show algorithm. 
Cause that's no, what they, you, that was the shade room. They deal with everybody <laughs> algorithms. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get that one. I'm yeah, sorry. Um, no, I saw it though. This week, Tuesday, we had an election. Uh, Trump was nominated the 47th president of the United States. Fast. Uh, Locked the runaway. Dope. Locked the dope. The, 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 Every swing state he won, I believe. Yeah, he won. Awesome. He won all the swing states. Uh, the vote it, it the last I saw he was up at least three four million on the popular vote, yeah. uh, and been elected the new president. It's hard to argue. Uh, politics I don't really like it, uh, especially on this platform. I love politics, but I don't like talking politics because right. of the divisiveness of People it. Get a feel. Um, but that's the new president. Thoughts? Where we at? Who leaving? Who going to some other country? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. But I feel like in stuff like this, you have to be able to adjust with. It. Move through. You gonna get I some- feel bad for some of the more harsher stuff that they got going on. Mm. That's going to affect the women uh, not being able to have reproductive care and things like that. Uh, some of those things. But in these times, you also got to figure out how do I navigate? Because this happens. Mm-hmm. We, we live in a if society you- where, like, you can't always have everything your way and the way you want it. Might not have been the outcome you wanted, but you still have to thrive and live in it the best way possible. So that's my thought. Like, so when you say you going somewhere, no, I'm not. I'm going to figure it out. Right. Yeah. The not, fact that he won do? the um, Latino oh. vote was, I get it, but I don't get it. Somebody explained it saying. Um, Didn't he get a decent number last time? Or did he? No, it was uh, way, no way, way uh, more this time. But they were saying he going to stop the border, and they don't want people over here coming to take their jobs. So, do I vote for my self-interest? Mm-hmm. I'm always for voting for your self-interest. Mm. So, so that's why a lot of the Latinos did that. Because I did see a few of them. I don't know how real and authentic it was on TikTok as well. And it's also on Instagram. Like, they have asked them questions like, what do you think about the border politics? Like, lock it up. Yeah. But like, they were like, but you're an immigrant. I'm like, I know. Because both. I'm over I, here now. I, so. I mean, yeah. most of them <laughs> are, you know. I don't know. Blue collar. Mm-hmm. Um, such as black people, and yeah, I don't, I don't want them niggas coming over here competing with me for, for for a lesser amount. What's crazy is his first, his very first order, like the thing he been saying he want to do first is to stop the food. immigrant children mm-hmm. from being able to get automated citizenship. So you know how they can come and then they be, have born, be born in here. Yeah, 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 born here. That's, his, that's the first thing he wanted to do. See, that's different. They can't get a job. <clears throat> they got to wait a while. You know, that's still a trickle In the future, like, it, 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 in the future, it keeps being under the same. Right. Yeah. We need uh, immigrants. Right. And America makes, is built on immigrants. Hell, hell, we immigrants. Yeah. I'm American, Jay. White people are immigrants. Um, more than too. anything, I, like, you said something this week, who, uh, you, you made a, 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 a statement, and I kind of got it. What I say? I be just saying shit sometimes. No, nah, but this one, it was some real shit. You said you was like, I ain't mad, but I'm pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, some alluding to that. Oh yeah, I was uh, pissed off for like ten minutes. Yeah, I was pissed yeah, off for like I'm ten over minutes. Over now, yeah, <laughs> what right. I'ma do? Like, because, <laughs> like, I have a friend. Um, I just don't like that shit, fool, and it's blatantly in your face. Like, I have a friend who couldn't work at a certain point of time because they were going through something. Legally, mm-hmm. couldn't work, but he couldn't provide for his family. This man got kids, got you know wife, everybody at home, but he wasn't allowed to work because he had this issue going on, and he worked for the, had a government job. Those are the rules, cool. I have a problem when those rules get bent for hey, government for man. for right for other people that don't look like me. Mm-hmm. You get to get. The high my again, he was going through this process. Wasn't convicted. But my man gets convicted 34 times. As a felon. Just because he don't look like me, he gets to hold the highest fucking job there is. You can't even work at the post office with a felony. He got 34 of them boys. So Shit, you can't work at a lot of places with a felony. So so when my man can't take care of his 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 family. That bothers me. Cause that's my dog. 
And what you, what if he, right, so man. what if he, I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall. What if he jumps out there and be like, hey, maybe I need to be the one to try to help get rid of this felony law stuff and see how it happens. Who? Him? The felony man. I got one. I got four felonies. Well, I don't, because. Because he's not. Because I. <laughs> I He's finna do him, everything for billionaires. And, and, it's, and it's for his percentage. That one percentage of people, that's who it's going to benefit. Mm-hmm. It's not going to benefit my friend at all. He can, but again. So do you have hope? It shouldn't even benefit. It, it, it won't benefit him at all because he was never found guilty of nothing. He was not, he, he's not a felon. He got, like, everything is gone. He was able to go back to work. But. But if you accused of being a felon, then you can't work. That's nuts to me, though. And for that, and I and I commend you on that. Who? But like that ten minutes, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, it could have been longer, but I'm glad you let it go. No, I, can't, <laughs> you know I mean I can't. Like it's hard for me to focus on stuff I really just can't change. For like you got to be flexible. That is. I really think you got to be flexible, and you being sitting here being mad about it does absolutely nothing for it. Yeah, absolutely right. So, I mean, why I'm going to sit here and be mad about it, I'm going to see how can I adjust, and I'm a very hopeful nigga, so I hope that he comes and helps those fellas. I hope that he does what he says he's going to do. Will he? I don't know. I'm I'm not. You know, I, I don't know. I don't think and, that's going to be saying, hope, That's and, not and, part of the one for me. And I mean, when, I'm a hope, my nigga. And yeah. with what you saying, like, you got to take that. Okay, if you are angry, you got to take it. And it's do nothing you can it. do about it in this moment. It's something you got to take and get it ready for four years down the line. Mm-hmm. That's what we'll you got to do with the anger. You got to be able to turn the vote, find the candidates that can run that uh, align with what you, what you what you like and, and go from there. And that's another thing I want to challenge people over the next four years. Like, uh, when you vote and, like, it's cool to try to get people to vote and bring people out to vote. But I really feel like we have got to start educating yourself on your vote. Mm-hmm. You got to start understanding what these policies do, uh, how they work, how they affect you, your community, your kids. Not only for now, because a lot of these policies don't really, you might not see the problem with it. For 10 years. Until yeah, for, for a while. Right. It might be 15, 20 years before you see, like, oh, damn, this was crazy. Oh, this was wild. So uh, start familiarizing yourself and educating yourself on what it is you're even voting for. I said this at uh, at the Black Business Expo, everything you do is affected by politicians. Sure, locally, uh, nationally, everything you do in this world has an effect from your taxes to how much money is in your pocket, uh, and understand how that money got in your pocket, or understand what these tax breaks mean for you and the impl- implications that they can have because that shit's important. And I think a lot of people are just voting off of clips and and. Little highlights and stuff that they see. I don't care which side is on. Don't get caught. Like, if you want to go vote Republican, at least know why you're doing it. If you want to go vote Democratic, know why you're doing it. For sure. You know, and and make sure that it makes sense to you personally. That's all. That, um, was it 92? That 92 crime bill? Do I got the year right? Yep. Um, black people was for it. The black caucus and, and all that. Like, they was for it, but they didn't. You don't know what's gonna happen, mm-hmm. what they gonna turn it into. And some of this stuff Trump saying he, he wanna do, you don't know what's gonna happen from 90, that. 94 crime bill. 94, okay. I ain't know if I had the year right now. Sorry. But um but besides that, um do y'all think Kamala can can run again? I wouldn't. I don't know. She uh, should. Uh, why not? I think she can. I think, I she, think can she can take can, a, ch- a chance at it with a full with a full slate. Now, would she win? I don't know. Uh, it it will remain to be seen. But I, I, but I do know that the Democrats got to go. Um, they got to go back to the, to the to the locker room real quick uh, and, and get some stuff figured out. Right. They got to figure out. They just you know a lot of their stuff was rejected. No matter how good people feel about it, the country didn't want that. Yeah. Um, they did win some stuff down ballot that wasn't as publicized they did flip some seats that they wasn't supposed to win in certain even in in trump led states but they got to figure out what what that is and and not necessarily uh go against their morals or their rules but figure out what that is that some of these people uh are upset about it's a lot of things that people feel like are getting a little bit too too much like like we talk all the time uh some of this offensive stuff like if you're offended by certain stuff you got to remember there's a freedom of speech. So your offense can't be better than my my right to my be right able to say it. it. Right. But 
you can boycott me. You can not listen to me. You can decide not to. But people do have the right to say certain stuff. Right. But it's like certain little things. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about stuff that's not even like, I'm not talking about stuff that's inciting violence or stuff that's uh, trying to tell you to encourage to hurt somebody. I'm just saying, like, my opinion is I don't like these kind of waters. Oh, no, but he can't say that. Right. Get him off air. Right. Like, that's some of the stuff that, like, if you look at these exit polls and some of this stuff, that's what they were, uh, some of it is what they were rejecting. So, got to figure out what's what, man, and run the candidates that can uh, speak to the masses. And and I hope that we can find ways to get the common grounds. I know it's going to be really hard off this election because of some of the things that are on the table. It's really going to affect everyday people. Um, but we got to figure out a way, I, and I hope we can get back to a way where, damn, I don't I don't really like this vote, but that's the president. We're going to respect the office, and then we'll we'll, we'll try to beat him in the next election. Uh, and, and we got to try to get rid of the, the fringe elements on the left and the right to where we can come to common sense things where we can agree to disagree but keep it rolling. Like you said, um, the only way the Democrats going to win is get a candidate that stays in the middle. And get all that shit. Like Obama, he stayed in the middle. That was a different time. Yeah, it's it's uh, a little harder right now. Got Donald Trump in there right like, now, man. Because you got, like I said, the fringe on the left, you got a fringe on the right. A lot of the fringe on the left may be withholding vote from that person that tries to stay in the center. So sometimes they try to kind of go over that to the left to get them to pull them back over, and sometimes it's not enough. Yeah, but now you got to run against, like... That was one of the problems that they said with her. She... She tried, she tried to, to eliminate some of these things that you were way on the left with, and now they're trying to, not me, they're saying that, nah, you can't just try to come back to the middle. Nah, you was over there. We remember that. It, every politician do that. Um, I'm but, just telling you, like, yeah, what they're saying. So. But um, Trump was he didn't do that. an anomaly. Like, <laughs> he didn't do that. I don't Over know if that's going to happen. Yeah, he way, way over, over there. there. hung out with Elon but, and them and said... But, <laughs> I like he was way years. over everywhere. I like, I love that, that man was whatever he woke up and wanted to be. <laughs> but out of there, that's what he, he seen was. that it was working, and it worked twice for him. Um, but he gonna be gone. I don't know who the new person coming up gonna be. They gonna have to have. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. <sighs> a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming to play make me nervous about some of my interests. I think that stuff like. Little stuff, which is big stuff like telework. I think it's gonna be gone. JD Vance came out strongly. It was like when it was campaigning. Yeah, I want I want these federal workers. I want them gone. I want they need to be back in the building five days a week. Some people already have started like the one of the big newspapers, the New York Times. It was somebody big. They already started already. My boy started president on day one too. Already he yeah. started throwing some stuff. Hey, y'all better do this or this. this I think She's gonna be, she's she gonna, gonna be up she there. Be around, but I think that's hard, fool. Like once you lose, you lost. You, you rarely and you, come back. Probably, I mean, it's happened a couple of times, maybe once or twice. Well, I no, think because she only had like three months, it's days. gonna always leave her. Yeah, days. it's gonna leave her open to be a, a, a top target. Now you got to go through the primary this time, and we'll see what that looks like. We'll see who dropped their hats in there. We'll see if the Shapiro's get in there. Uh, or, or, or if Gavin Newsom try to jump in or Gretchen or oh, we'll see. Buddha check. Shout out my yep. nigga Shamar. <laughs> Shout out Shamar Figures. Yep. Yeah, man. While we there, man, congratulations, Jeez. man, uh, to Shamar Figures, man, on his big win. Uh locked down the seat, what, District Two, right? District two, yep. Yeah. Yep. District two, man. What a big win. All right. Um, his first black person to hold that seat. Yep. Yep. Hmm. So that's super dope, super. man, for him. Uh, can't wait. Excited to see what can't you do uh, for your constituency, uh, for your people back in your area, your district that you cover, man. And just just to see you on that national stage, being able to to cast votes that that make changes uh, and have a say. He coming in at a, a rough time, but right. if I know anybody who built for it, it'll be him. For so, sure. Hey. Let me ask you a question, too, though. Do you feel like it needs to be some youth in, this, in, these, um, in some of these seats? Yeah. Perfect middle, but mm -hmm. it's starting. To, it's starting to actually get like that. Yeah. Uh, like when you start looking at these mayors and stuff now, they start yeah, to yeah, look yeah. young and like Baltimore, vibrant, 30, 35, 36, yeah, yeah, early forties. Yeah. It, it's yeah. that old, that old way of thinking. That's that's kind of gone for right now until these younger people here get older. Right. But a lot of these older people are, are moving on out, are getting voted out. Oh, you just see a lot of youth in more leadership positions nowadays. I'm worried. I'm worried about how voting may go, 
I don't, we'll see. I don't but know why it goes not going. Well, well, I'm talking about on the national stage because, like, if you notice, the last trend was one terms, and that's not good long term because, yeah, like, no. shit, you, you, you can't get you get you get some shit in order, and then the next person can come yeah, undo it. Right, so, right. I'm I'm hoping that we can kind of get back some stability where you know that person who get it like it's almost like. Oh man, I'm mad. Nah, you don't get to get it now. Nah, I'm mad. Now nah, you get back in. Nah, I'm mad. And like it's like a big tug of war going it on. It usually flips um every time. But I I do think it needs to be term limits. Um Clarence Thomas should have been got the fuck out of there. Um I think for Congress, it like you can't have a life term. Like that's that's silly. Well, you can't have a life term and then you get voted. You get voted in. A lot of people don't be running. No, they don't. Not that, for Congress. You don't get a life term in Congress, man. You get to you got to get voted. In I mean, there. I was talking about Supreme Court. I'm sorry, I said okay. yeah. Supreme yeah. Court. That's why I said Clarence Thomas. But um, but yeah, if hey, if they mess around and let Shamari talk at a um Democrat convention, he did this year. He need one more. <laughs> He need one more. He need a couple more. He'll be all right, man. I think we just got to give him time to grow. Yeah. He, he got to go, yeah, go, go through the ropes. He's going to go to work. Yeah. He got to go through these ropes first. Let's see how he go through these Hey, ropes. eight years. I think he in there. Let's see. How old is he? Time will tell. All right. 30 if, if, if he's 35. 39? I don't even think he's that old. So thanks. Tomorrow, my cat. got to be. 38, 39. Yeah, you're younger than us. 31. I mean, he's more than that. Yeah, they 20. think G Ball's something. G Ball's running for governor? Yeah, we are. Vote for G Ball's. Yeah, we ain't spring chickens no more, guys. Yeah, we are. We up there. Everybody know it's old. That's a good age, though. Shout out. Kennedy was about 45. You know what I'm saying? That's a good age. Damn, we old. And we got these niggas that's running this 80. Trump gonna be the oldest president the oldest. ever. Yeah, gonna be the oldest ever president. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shout out Jelly Roll, the little, the the rapper. I don't know if y'all saw what he did this week, but it was really dope. He said he went, uh, going around to different prisons and speaking, uh, and he met the sheriff who had a rehabilitation program that allowed the prisoners to do music. Right. And through their music, that was their outlet to rehabilitate themselves because eventually they have to come back into society so he let them do it through music so he let these groups get together and pr produce music and he said he was really touched by it so after he left he called back to the sheriff and said hey man let me ask you a question i i i, I know that you know what's what's going on with them and i know i might be asking a lot but it would really be an honor if you would allow them to come perform with me tonight at the show i, I know it probably be tough i know it'll be difficult but I really think that would be good for their rehabilitation and what they're trying to do. Let them see that dream. Uh, and the sheriff said, you know what? Yeah, I'll bring them. Uh, he brought the guys on stage, man, and they performed their song. And they, hey, they was dope. It was, it was, it was, it was like a guitar player, two rappers, and a singer. Um, and it was thousands of people in the stands. And they got to get on stage and do their thing. And he said it like, you know, they woke up in the county jail. They're gonna leave and go back to the county jail. But for this moment, they get to. Right. Put put on and perform in front of all these people, and it was super dope. I don't know if y'all got a chance to see it, but it was kind of like amongst all of this crazy stuff, it, it was dope to see and get a little glimmer of hope through that. I didn't see that. That's pretty dope. I, I didn't see it, but gonna, yeah. I wonder if yeah. that's something going to be it's ongoing dope. and say so grateful to the heart program for. So maybe this is the heart program to have something like this. Yeah, a lot of times you see some talented niggas in jail. Yeah, and now they what? these videos getting out, and it was and, a lot of like and like making money off of it. A list too. celebrities responding and making comments and. Saying how dope it was and good to see. I see Fat Joe was making comments on it. Like, right. man, that's hard. Yeah. I say, right. let them let them do it, man. especially if it's a way for them to make some money. You see a lot of them like on TikToks making that TikTok money, right. making Instagram money, making them views money. I like it. Put them in a position to, to make money up. when they get out. Helps with receiving. And then you less likely to commit crimes for yeah. sure. Yeah. That just, feeling of being on that stage, I guarantee them to you that. That's it's encouraging. That, yeah, that's, that's and you know something. how that shit got to feel. And they were, the crowd were going crazy right, when they, they were right. singing and stuff. And at the end, they dropped the beat out. My man went acapella for a minute. They were going crazy. Right. Uh, it's just dope to see because I just think sometimes we lock people up and we just put them in there and then we let them out. And then they supposed to get it. Right. Uh, we don't give them any skills to be able to. And a lot of times we don't give them a lot of skills to be able to reintegrate back into society and be successful. Right. Well, we don't Right. I think he needs to be making tissue 
like, like what we just talked about. It's hard for you to do anything when you're a fella. Man. Any kind Except of you're a president, my baby. My baby. Or go, go, go make some tissues. Except be president. You can be the president. <laughs> yeah, but um, shout out him. Uh, music wise, I, what we listening to? Because I don't think shit dropped least, uh, recently. Ooh, they, uh, did we talk about it last? I still been on this. Uh, but, that Freddie Gibbs. Oh, yeah, we talked oh, about that. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Did you uh, listen to it? Cause they, Freddie, they yeah, I had that in rotation. Um, I didn't get too far through it. Um, I hadn't been in a in a situation where I felt like listening to it just yet. Um, I still been on on Big X. I've been on Big X. Um, what's my boy named Tyler? Tyler album yeah. and the kid AK from New Orleans. I had that's my rotation right now. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Gibbs because I'm a huge fan of Gibbs. I got I just got to get in the right situation where I'm listening to it. Uh, you said who from New Orleans? Uh, his name AK. It's a little dude I had came on and talk about when I when I went on the rant about he sounded like Juvie, he sounded like yeah. Wayne. He sounded Does like it? This. I mean, he well, got he that New Orleans sound. He got that sound and he used a lot of their beats and their. Don't you? You and I walked me when I was saying oh, <laughs> it. Ain't even remember. <laughs> like, God damn, nigga sound like everybody, don't it? <laughs> like, oh yeah, he yeah. danced right there. <laughs> so it's it, that little kid, but he cool, man. Cool little kid. Um, gotcha. Rap wise. I don't think it's like some R and B shit to drop, um, and you probably won't even the LMA shit. I think she dropped the EP. Yeah, that shit was pretty straight. Uh, but yeah, as far as like, you know, music. Did you listen to that Maxo Cream on that Co- on that Kodak? I listened to Kodak. I, I didn't I know like you sent me just a song on Maxo Cream, didn't it? I like that. It was Kodak. a couple of things. I didn't know he dropped the album. Yeah, it's, it's an album. Oh shit! I definitely, I definitely check that out. I think it's an album. Let me see because it, it, it won't pull up my shit. He had kind of disappeared for a minute, but yeah. he had a nice little run and oh. then he dropped off. Ab, uh, uh, Ab Soul. I thought you were about to say LB Shore. Uh, he dropped. Um, if you you know, West Coast Cheeto artist. just sent me um a CD clip of that, shit. a yeah. song of that. Yeah, he um uh, he rapping um. But yeah, man, it's it's just been one of those previous week type deals. You know uh, it. Yeah, I've been back on that dope bar round. <laughs> you know yeah. it. <laughs> man, you know, I was listening to, and I, I know this go without saying, but uh, I just messed around and just pushed the playlist on that Drake. You know, I like I got to say he powered the party. And then I, as I'm listening, I'm like, God damn, this nigga got so much fucking music. A whole lot of them. Maxo dropped Friday, so it hadn't dropped. He dropped the single. I was about to that. say, I ain't see it. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I definitely checked that out. Yeah. It ain't too many people. Getting Drake out on the verses, it might be two, and I can't Wayne. name the two. Wayne, Wayne, and I Wayne can't get Drake out on the verses. It'll be a battle. I don't know, but I'm I'm thinking about what I like. You know, Wayne start going to mixtape. Wayne's pulling out some squads. I'm. I don't like, think you can play mixtape so mixtape so. We about to find yeah, out because because verses can, coming back that's, out. That's when um the locks did they shit. That was a um a mixtape. Um, Jada song when he came up the hill when he was talking about it went crazy. Song. Yeah, he went crazy. That's a mixtape song. When he got so you can, you can yeah, yeah Drake shit. can't get Wayne out on twenty. I'm sorry. I think I, I think know. the crowd matters for that shit. It does. For, for Drake, Kanye maybe. Really Kanye maybe can. It'll be <laughs> hell of a battle. You the big hell no. <laughs> I mean, but it gotta funny. be everything. When it's Kanye, it gotta be everything. It can't just be Kanye mute. Yeah, it got to be everything he produced on and all that. So that's a little unfair, but Just song name. for song. Your name in the credits, you can use it. Yeah. Drake and Future, the two niggas I feel like can't nobody pull the verses again. Who winning? Drake or Future? Drake. Drake you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know he going to pick Future. Yeah, hey, sure. I, I, noticed, I noticed a little something about G-Wiles and uh, Drake. He got a little, like he like him, but he... Kind of want to hate him too. <laughs> he ain't selling enough drugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. He ain't, like he ain't enough Kendrick of a street said, nigga. I like what Kendrick said. I like when he rap. I don't like the. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wish you would have came over at my house. Well, that's not what Kendrick said. Kendrick said, Kendrick said, said I like, like Drake, like, with, like, the like, like Drake, Drake when he right. act tough. I said, right. I'm opposed to what Kendrick said. I like when he rap. Oh. I don't like the I thought you said I like the way Kendrick said. 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 I they asked uh, who, which rapper had the best three album run. <laughs> we got Drake with uh, Nothing Was the Same, Take Care, and Thank Me uh, Later. We got uh, Kanye, Graduation, Late Registration, and College Dropout. Future, but they they didn't do the recent shit. They did Beast Mode, Monster, and um, Honest. Then you got Jay-Z. Um, in my lifetime, reasonable doubt, in my and um, 
Hard Knock Life, Volume Two. J. Cole, uh, For Your Eyes Only, Forest Hill Drive, and Born Center. Uh, Tyler the Creator, Call Me When You Get Lost, Igor, Flower Boy. Uh, Eminem, Marshmallow's Eminem Show, um, and Slim Shady. And then they got Kendrick, of course, with Damn to Pimp a Butterfly and Good Kid Mad City. Trash ass list, like Joe G said. Mm. They left out Pop, they left out Jesus. They left DMX. They, they definitely DMX? left out DMX. DMX. No, yeah. they, they left them out. DMX. But I guess what they were saying of out three. of this group, I don't. I ain't saying of all. Ross. Time. Definitely a fucking out Ross. Out of, that out of this group, and I they guess. put Kendrick in there. All them niggas is. What Jay Z on there? Jay Z no. on there. So hell no, we can't just say only these niggas. But I'm saying, but them. this is the list that they said out of the three albums. That's that's. Kendrick oh but Jay Z was in in. Pac and Biggie era, but I, I'm, what I'm saying is saying the three album run, meaning like the the, the the three albums that consecutively came behind each other. That's what they yeah. going off. So what three Pac albums what, in a row? Right. You can pick it. Um, or DMX three in a row, three in a row. Um, nah, I can give you three. But I'm not. Pac, I'm, but I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> they, they, they just didn't include them on DMX this list. Is what, what I'm what I'm saying. I'm just thinking me against this. the world, all eyes on me, <laughs> Machiavelli. That's my three. Yeah, so first three. So then, if Jay Z could be on that, then why he can't? I don't know. Wayne, this call a one, pick. two, three. <laughs> this Go is five. what they picked. Uh, I, I didn't should, make the list. This is what they I, picked. I, I These are the artists that they picked. They just wanted. They he's definitely not. You, this nigga's supposed to be on here, DMX. No question. It's dark and hell is hot. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Yeah. Um, it's dark and hell inside. I don't know yeah. about that Exodus though. That's the latest one, ain't it? Yeah, I wouldn't put that on there. But I'm talking about, th- I'm talking about the three the, consecutive on, albums. I know. I'm looking for that third one. Oh, it up. was 99. Yeah, 99. No, it's after. And then there was no, X. no, it was in that. Then and there then was, then there was, was X. Exodus 99. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the first three, the first three albums. It didn't have to be in the same year. J Cole definitely shouldn't have been on there. J Cole shit shouldn't. No. Or Kendrick. Or Tyler. And if they was going to add Tyler, they should have put the DJ Drama one in there. You don't, yeah, that's the one. To Pimple Butter, Butter. Yeah. To um, Pimple Butterfly uh, was trash. Y'all stop that's trying to like get that. Lost. That's, I told you you were going to say that. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't trash. I ain't listen. I don't remember Igor, but I got to see. I got to go. Like yeah, that, some argue that's his, his best album. Igor? Mm-hmm. That, that's the one they say he got raw for a Grammy on. Igor was hard, though. Igor right. was hard. Pause. <laughs> Especially from never mind. But so what I'm saying, like who who you think out of this list? Because I don't, I, I I didn't make the list. I don't. I mean, you got Drake, M, Jay Z. Because I'd have picked a whole different era of Jay Z. Kanye. A, that, I can't a, lie. That first three Kanye was just crazy. I wasn't a big Kanye fan at that time. Um, that shit era. was crazy. Uh, college I, dropout, late registration, I ain't really and graduate. I really ain't get on them to dark twisted fantasy times. I'm not a fan of Reason Without, so I'm probably going Kanye or Drake. That's going to be a tough decision. I don't oh, like Wayne. That Drake line up. I think he had a better Or Ross. Those were his oh, first Ross. three albums. Or, but he not on the list. Or, or T.I. Oh, three. yeah, T.I. 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 Fruit. So basically, y'all need to make a new list, new hip hop, because y'all ain't giving me no Because it's trash. But off of this list, Outcast, yeah, question. that's a, hey, hell yeah, Outcast. I'm putting Outcast. Yeah, first three out, albums. Hell yeah. I, I was just going off off the, the list. list. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I say no, we we made right ends, nigga. Like right. we, my ballot said right <laughs> in, nigga, and I definitely put my name on that bitch a few times, motherfucker. <laughs> I say Kanye off this list though, for sure. And Kanye, so y'all know y'all don't like the bar, but then them first three Kanye albums. Well, no, I'm not opposed good. to him because he's really he, he, he real really musical. Good. He's very musical. He that's, just that's me. It's probably just me. He just wasn't mine. <laughs> I didn't have to wear the, the, the polo shirt with the vest, the little cloth. I ain't have to have that. The full crazy Kanye. I yeah, like yeah, crazy yeah, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he started getting dark and twisted, that's when I started to like. But unpopular opinion. I never Trash. really listened to the Slim Shady LP. Like I, like, I, 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 I couldn't get into it. I was aside a huge from the, 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 like the, first, the first couple of albums, I was a huge. But that Marshall Matters yeah. LP. Marshall Mathers and I Eminem show, that, front that back, shit went hard. Multiple times, bro. Mm-hmm. Mars and Untouched. Yeah. He just was a crazy white boy talking about his mama and his, his, yeah. his family issues and drugs. Hey, damn, you're going to kill your mama. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Taking perks at 12? God damn. 
<laughs> yeah, well, okay. Now, I want to hear. <laughs> tell, tell me about this. Tell me about this story. I got That's why movie, I don't believe in that shit. And then like, the movie happened, you know. They say like um like music and violent shit influence people. I ain't never <laughs> want to do no shit Eminem was talking about. Mm-mm. Ever. I, 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 it does, but we pick you got to some niggas you pick and choose on what you're going to do. We going to wear the big your bows and T's and Reeves. Well, I, well, I ain't going to shoot yeah, the niggas, but some boy. niggas going to shoot hey, the niggas and sell a drug. Hey, boy, look at that shit, Hey, fool. hey, hey, the closest, <laughs> like, the closest. Like, are, how do you beat that, bro? You can't, fool. You can't beat that, bro. That's all you time. Nobody can beat that shit. That I don't think bro. nobody is disagreeing with that. I know, but, but that shit, wow. <laughs> okay, but that what's that? Is, that was, that's not rap, them poems. <laughs> <laughs> it's poetry. He's a street poet. Poetry. Nigga Domus. Does not rap. You doing that shit again. You doing that shit again. That's what I thought you said. Trash when I uh, said Tupac can't rap. No. I I never said he couldn't rap. I said he just made better music. He wasn't the best rapper. You said that on the pod, bro. You said. Okay. Who can rap better? Nas or Tupac? I say Nas. I say Nas. But Nas can't make what Pop can make, nigga. Like, that's what I'm that's saying. The, that's the argument. That's what, you you <laughs> keep it to his point. <laughs> should have just said you should have just said Pop just to win the argument. Like, Pop. Well, Pop. well, I always make that argument too about the difference between a rapper and an artist. When y'all look at these rappers, so you think Nas is better than Tupac as a rapper? Just bar wise, just when I say when you say rapper, I think straight. Balls. I don't give a fuck balls. what your song sounds like. Well, that nigga got angry. What are your bars like? You think he's better than Tupac? I think Nas got bars, nigga. Is that's better than Tupac? Is what you're yes. saying? Okay. Yes. He ball about to slap. Who you pick? Subject out of that. Tupac. Nigga. I'm going Tupac. Nas. Me first. Tupac. Is Tupac, man. Is Nas a better rapper than Jeezy? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying to see the point. Uh, Who like, makes the better song, music? I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> so, no, that's what I'm saying. Depending Tupac on, makes the better music. Depending on your reason. Like, oh, if you up north, you'll say well, then Nas he, would make well, the better Well, he the said better. that it was for him about bars. bars yeah. So, right. he can say Jeez and make the better music, but he don't have better bars yeah, than Nas. He, he literally said bars. That's all I'm saying, guys. No, that's not what you said. <laughs> you, you, you and Dez having that conversation. I stayed out of it, but that's not what the fuck he said. Drake. Yeah, they keep that yelling at that nigga. Drake, a better rapper than Kendrick. G-Ball okay. about to slap both of y'all niggas. Cool. What y'all done did, G-Ball? I, I who both of y'all? Who? I can agree with that. Oh, he was go, going off on <laughs> Tar first, and he went off yeah, he on, on the Twins, yeah, man. He yeah, going off on the Twins. <laughs> yeah, Kendrick will make some boring-ass good raps. Drake just make better songs that you want to listen to. Better good raps, huh? Yeah. Uh, college football recap. Down goes Miami. They've been teetering on the line for, for a very long time, and they That's did exactly what I felt like it was coming. They, are, uh, they lost they to won. Georgia Tech yesterday, 28-23. Did y'all see that game, and what was y'all takeaways from it? Man, what, Georgia Tech, Miami. what is it about Georgia Tech? They got somebody else, didn't they? Florida State, yeah, yeah, probably. Florida Florida State. State. Nah, that don't count. But That's but It was a, like early Florida State, like first game of the season Florida State, which made it a shocker. And which probably, you know, thought they season in the wrong direction, you know. I don't know. Them niggas just play too inconsistent. Who, oh, man? Yeah. I know you don't like them, Todd, but Booger McFarlane says some real stuff that applied. They're a very undisciplined team. And mm-hmm. they're the cardiac kids, and they, that's because they put themselves in bad situations, playing bad defense, making bad plays. They even went as far as, I thought my boy was doing good. How terrible my boy is coaching. And once they pointed out all the little things you know mm-hmm. wrong, like calling the timeout on that fourth and go after you came off the two minute warning. Right, it was a two, this, yeah. Tell them about the fake at that time, but you know. So I don't know. Um, but I felt like that was gonna happen, and I, I think they put themselves in a bad situation because now you're one game, championship game away from completely missing the playoffs. Yeah, because I, I think Clemson gonna, Clemson gonna pop them. That's that's the team that's the, gonna the, the keep championship them. game. So right, they're know. gonna get popped by Clemson. I don't think they can beat Clemson. It's college football as a whole, and I, I don't want to get off of Miami, but who to say something about discipline? Mm-hmm. 
I'm saying that with like everybody. everybody. I know LSU everybody. for a fact on this, but my God, man, like I, I don't I, like God, Georgia was who I thought would not have been, and they're not very disciplined. Number right turnovers now. and um, Oregon kind of they they might they got the, it. They probably if anybody might be the most disciplined team in the country, but the rest of these teams just kind of yeah, like that's been on a nigga shit. Well, how they seem disciplined as well? That shit was wild, but however. I, I I see him getting the best out of his players. That was just some personal shit brother had going on, I guess. But you look around the locker room, you don't get that from him. So he's doing something right up there in Eugene. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's that shit's just been a recurring theme here, fool. Like I don't know what these niggas on. Do you think it's the transfer? Portal? No. No, it's I not, just think it's, it's these niggas. I can't say that. It's that a collect- I think it's the. Yes, it's I think it's the kids. I think it's, it's the, these. It's a collective. Because yes, these but, niggas but, are not but, getting money. But it's these kids knowing first they are getting a lot of money, mm-hmm. and they know they can go somewhere else next year and play. Cool. So why the hell am I going to listen to um, a, a discipline like Nick Saban when when I can go? Over here and do what the fuck I want. I don't know. That's slow I don't. I don't, slow I don't know what it is, but I. But I know one thing: you still can't go to that next level with that bullshit, or no, your no, ass no. gonna be out of there quick. That's, right. Right. That's so why they ain't going. They ain't even picking your ass up. That's the thing. Cool. They, they might give you a shot, but your ass gonna be out of there real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My thing is this, man. Like I don't know what you are afforded uh, a, a great opportunity. Some of you all are again playing the kids' game, getting the king's ransom off of that shit. Those are people who, you know, of you know, of stature. Not everybody is at that status yet. However, nigga, like it was a point of time where y'all used to be off limits. You're not out anymore. You, you, we can talk about you bad if you make stupid decisions, and you getting this money. So, nigga, that's where we are with it now. And don't feel bad about saying it. Like, man, I'm telling you, fool. That shit, what was happening last night, like it was like three or four fourth downs that these niggas uh, from LSU had created. Boy, the penalties. The penalties got right back on the field Holy defense. Man. Like, what the hell? Oh, kind of little bullshit. Like, the, the momentum had swung at one point when they had stopped Alabama on a, a fourth down play. Face mask. Face mask. <laughs> <laughs> the next play, mirror roll. Good at Miss, the end. And that's another ran all through the That's Boy. another part of discipline. Uh, a billion missed tackles. Right. So. Who? Miro got more rushing yards than Jalen Hurts already. He I got about three that. more games left. He run more. Yeah, he run more. My boy was a better way passer. More. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt threw that bitch way more than um well not way more, but, enough, he, but he was just a better enough throw. more, yeah. Uh speaking of Bama, Bama beat the shit out of LSU 42 13. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Beat the shit out of them. That's yeah. enough. Yeah, they couldn't. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that run that's shit enough. just. Yeah, it, it yeah, got Death Valley. LSU. But LSU did have a lot of hurt players. But I, I, I said this when y'all hired Kelly. I just, I, I get why you would hire him. It's not like I can't say he wasn't qualified to be hired, but it just didn't seem right. Yeah. I don't know no, what it is. Because to me, it's not him. They went out. I think they made a real good move. He too he stuffy out, for LSU. Went out and got a real good defensive coordinator who yeah. was leading the leagues last year. Y'all need a cool Missouri. coach. A cool offensive guy. I do. Believe. I don't know why y'all got to rid. I think um, we need we need rid like, of um the nigga that can't talk. Um, yeah, old drum. Yeah, what's time? Yeah, it was time. But the I think went we to need dead. To, you don't remember that? Yeah, it was time. And he never was really supposed to be the guy. He just had. Yeah, he just had a great was, season. It was Brady. Yeah, be it honest, was definitely with you. Joe Brady. Kind of like Antonio Pierce with the Raiders. He just was the guy following up. You know, and to keep recruits there, keep what we have intact, intact. Yeah. Um, but I think that and they ran his we, course. Yeah, it's time for him to go. Come on back, Joe Brady. We'll take you back. Uh, Ole Miss uh, did what they were supposed Pop to do Georgia. against Georgia, won Pop 2018. Then we all picked Georgia in the pick Probably. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody did. Sure. I mean, who would? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, only three people should have picked. But, um, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to. <laughs> Man, um, we kind of explained the rules. You wouldn't have to him. Well, when I heard – never mind. That's, that's, that's behind. They already talked doors. about it. They talked about it on this episode. Yeah, today, before you got here, for being late again. <laughs> as we're talking about who shouldn't pick. It didn't pick. say nothing about it. Yeah. As, yeah, we're talking about, as we're talking about who shouldn't pick. Um, <laughs> was I late? Nigga, yes. You were 45 minutes late. What you talking about? Mm. Ow. When did we discuss 1030? Man, um. <laughs> <laughs> Colorado. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So when I did, don't no, want to no, do this. On, when God, did man. we discuss 1030? So how you know the time was 1030? <laughs> Uh, when I Who, seen it? it this morning. 
<laughs> but I, I, I go to church. You didn't see it yesterday either, <laughs> or three days ago. Oh, we go. ago. When everybody responded like to Monday it? or no. Tuesday in the week. No. And when you saw it this morning, you saw it. Didn't say nothing about it. I go to church. Nigga, you could text in church. Where you think you at? <laughs> it was Monday. I still got to be there. <laughs> I didn't say you couldn't be there. I just say, see, I gotta go to church. <laughs> what about Tuesday? I know. I'm. I didn't say I had to go to church. He telling us now we know. I said, nigga, you could text the church. <laughs> say something, nigga. Communication. We had that conversation too. That nigga. was part of the conversation. Yeah, sure was funny. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you could text the church. <laughs> Crazy. But, but um, y'all said Georgia got. I said, I yeah, keep they got pop. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia got popped, man. Let's get this go. Uh, Colorado, 41 27. Uh, big win over Texas Tech. They started out, uh, they were losing 13 0. Yeah. And them niggas started dispersing the ball to the people who run real fast. And the receivers. Boy. Man, them boys. They have yeah. another nigga just as fast as Horn. And they caught that ball and. Why? It was a blow. I, I didn't know Travis Hunter was that fast. Yeah, they always say he was fast. You just ain't seen. Like, he ain't got looking stupid. He extra fast. No, that nigga fast. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Probably the best athlete in college football. Ain't no Hi, problem. Hi, Heisman After Fowler? yesterday. Uh, Miro ain't back no up there. problem, bro. Miro not up there. Gabriel. Miro. It's, they say it's between, it's in between him Jansen, and Gabriel, from, yeah, and. Um, the boy from. What's the right? ain't in it? Not he up, that he, loss. That loss, that loss might, might hurt him, but yeah. he up there. What's the running back? Gentry. 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 T. Yeah. Gentry. Hey, <laughs> I meant to put this in a group. Gentry. He didn't score more points than Florida State. Yeah, so he that's wild. Time. You did put it. Didn't you put it in there? You put it in there. I don't yeah. think oh, I no, did. You did, did put it in there. You did put it in there. Oh, did. somebody did. If you did, yesterday I saw was a that blur. I see. <laughs> but yeah, man. That's why I ain't see the, the ten thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be saved. Let me go to church. Hey, we all need a little savior. Um, I don't know. I don't know who ended up winning. I just feel like at the end of the day, the shit that Travis doing is just unbelievable. That shit is yeah. unheard of. I almost had another pick yesterday. They called it, you know, they, they called, called, called shit, a uh, holding or something, which maybe why the quarterback threw it. But he got he got another pick. 120 snaps a week is wild. Uh, 120 productive snaps a week. Yeah, wow. right. I seen Champ Bailey uh, do do an interview this week talking about him. Um, Champ Bailey had 19 offensive plays, maybe. Yeah, and they, really? that's what he was saying. He was like, man, what he doing is unbelievable. He was like, you know, in the, in the league, he might want to pick one. He was like, but who am I to tell him what he can do? He can do it and do it at that level. Shit, let's go. Why not? Please pick receiver. No, I think if he pick, it will be DB. I think. No, I don't I'm want saying pick, receiver though. for the money. I don't want him to pick. I want him to do both for even more money. Yeah. Well, you gonna hey, have to show like, that nigga um, the money if he takes away a whole side of the like field. Like that. Um, what was the tight end that said he wanted to be listed as, as a receiver, receiver to get for more money? Um, Jimmy, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Because yes. he lined up more at yeah. receiver. Hey. And that's how it's gonna go either way. Whatever you line up more at, that's what you're gonna get paid based on. Cool. But he still was a, a tight end. Yeah. He was <laughs> yeah. a tight end all day. Because <laughs> we just split our tight end out. Right. So I don't care what you thought you was lining up at. You tight end. Fool. Them niggas was, was two, scoring that bitch so fast. In that game. I'm a receiver. Yeah, they did. They were scoring that whole so fast, dog. It, it was looked like, good. And they loaded that receiver. It's like two? four of them. Man, we were watching one that one shit end? on the phone, uh, getting the updates on the phone. Like, we were like, damn, them niggas down. Man, before I knew it, them niggas had the window like 21 to like 13 or some shit. Like, damn. And then, of course, Texas Tech scored again. But them niggas was up and down the field yesterday. And I expect that from a Texas Tech team. But what them I like, niggas was passing that bitch around yesterday. What I like to see is 1 and 10 or 1 and 11, whatever the hell it was, to 4 and 8 to 9, 7 and 2. With a couple more games to go to get a couple more wins. Hey, that's what that's them that's Dion haters at. They real solid. Talk. They real quiet. Oh, damn. Why would you call my name? Out of all niggas to call, why would you call my name? Call them all, too. You have been If you want to go back, you said they weren't going to win but four games this year. I was going to let you live on that shit. Mm. You said that at the beginning of the season. Mm, That nigga got a good memory. No, I said. Four games. That's what you said. No, I said UAB wasn't going to win. Four games. Where we get UAB from? That's you. We're talking about Colorado. That's what I said. You said Colorado was going to win four games this year. No. It's recorded. Yeah, it's definitely recorded. I put it on Facebook. It's that that they was gonna win. They, that they was gonna be like this. I said there was gonna be a bowl game win. Um, team. Colorado, a bowl eligible uh, team. A bowl, oh. a bowl eligible team. You get said, it out, my boy. Get it out. Get it out. Let you them say that you. last week. Or are we talking about at the beginning of the season? Beginning of the season. Wow. Tell them. 
Tell him what he said. I don't know. Tell him four games. Said. That's what you said. <laughs> they will win four games. It's recorded. Didn't say it. Can't do it. Won't okay. do it. Hey, can't <laughs> argue with you. you uh, Indiana's still said. looking real good, man. They won against Michigan uh, yesterday, 20 to 15. Come on, Coach. Man, what's up with them? Who? Like, Indiana? Is it good? Yeah, like, they good. They got a real good coach. That yeah, coach that was, coach good as he fuck. Come, he come from Saban. He was Saban gotcha. understudy. So, and, I mean, anytime you get a team looking like this and they're beating quality opponents. Now, they get Ohio State, I think, in a week. They got a bye weekend in Ohio yeah. State. So, we'll see if they what they really match up as. But I think as of right now, they already a success compared to what they used to Fucking be. Fucking right, man. Yeah. A bowl game would be a, a good thing for them niggas. But them niggas ain't lost a game yet. A win. Real. <laughs> back in the day, back in the old days. Talking about man. Indiana here, baby. The Hoosiers. But I like, I, like, I like that coach, and I like what he's done. He's been a winner everywhere he's went. Um, he shows. Come on, LSU. I take him. <laughs> I, yeah, I need so, to do I'm something. Sure take him. Where we at though on them pickums? Oh man, we ain't got many games this week. Uh, let me see where we at, cuz. Um, who the standing? Ain't I still at the top? Uh, yeah. Probably. Okay, I know who at the bottom though. <laughs> not it's me getting, anymore. It's getting, it's getting lonely up there. It's not me anymore. Who you probably uh, second place now? No, nah, I'm, I'm in third. I don't know. It depends on yesterday. No, uh, Todd. Dad, they didn't show us yesterday. Drop, oh, Dez no, he did send us then. Not uh-uh. yesterday. No, he, he showed us yesterday. like Friday. And like Friday. I'm pretty oh. sure who did he pick LSU. Oh, you yeah, didn't. No, Bama. I didn't pick Bam. Oh, this shit got an asterisk by it though. Todd <laughs> picked somebody that he wasn't that he tried to change. Who the fuck he tried LSU, to change? LSU, Alabama. Oh, when oh, I found out oh, the you damn LSU. Nah, 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 you must pick LSU. <laughs> yeah, he oh, did. I picked LSU. That's why I want to change my shit. I've not seen the depth chart. Like, man, these niggas ain't got nobody playing. We don't have that many games this week. Right now, we got Clemson and Pitt. Um, they t- trying to battle to get in that ACC championship game to see who's going to play uh, Miami. Yeah. Uh, I want to see Clemson, but Clemson ain't looked so, so decent recently um, after they went on their run, but I think they have a chance to pop Miami. I think Miami comes back down to earth from what they were, and I think people are starting to realize what their mistakes are, and they make them often. Um, and I think that a team like Clemson will capitalize off it, but we will see. Because I always say it's going to be one of them crazy teams like a, a Boston College or a Georgia Tech or a VTech that was going to pop Miami, and that's yeah. who it ended up being. Hoodie, can you tell us the game for next No, week? nigga, we trying to make pickles more interesting instead of your boring ass. No, we, could, we got time to do that. Clemson. Yeah, that's <laughs> Shut up, man. Go home. Go, come be late. Go be late. Yeah, in three weeks, they going to be playing. Nigga, tell us what's happening next week. No. <laughs> shit, nigga, shut up and listen. That's what you do. Shut up and listen. What you don't do a good job of. Right there. And I ain't even oh. do it now. I so see. What's that? That's your problem. That's why you know what 1030 means. Okay. She you need to learn how to listen sometimes. But we got Clemson and Pitt. I already said it. But who who you got, Todd? Clemson. Can we have more than that? <laughs> <laughs> don't be like nah, that. Right. Fuck I with you. Now you uh, fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, what are they playing at? Who? You know, I gotta I gotta know. Pittsburgh. Who. Damn. A Crashore, or however you pronounce it, stadium. You still ain't finna change your mind, At motherfucker. Crashore. Sure. <laughs> yeah, give me Clemson. I think them boys played a, a hell of a ball game yesterday. Um, yeah. Clemson. Pitt, Pitt last five is V Tech. They won. Louisville, they lost. UVA, they beat. Wake for they ain't played nobody for real. I think so I say Clemson. Yeah, I'm I'm going Clemson. I think Clemson after after that scare with Louisville, I, I don't think I think they, they got it right. Yeah. Uh, they lost to Georgia early. They lost to uh, Louisville. I think those two losses, uh, especially that one, what a week or two ago, yeah, two weeks uh, ago. to Louisville. I think that that's gonna have them rolling. They have enough to get past Pitt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going Clemson. Who you going with, Hootie? I'm going Clemson too. I'm going with Pitt then. Why? Climb the boards. Uh, Pitt. Oh, that's fine. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Either fall more. Because uh, <laughs> it does have a, a consequence, huh? Yeah, so I mean, Pitt really ain't played nobody to show me that they're a decent enough team. I'm going to Clemson too. Uh, the next game, we don't have many rank rank games. We got the game of the week right now. I'm trying to find a third. Um, but I'm jump game of the week right now. Tennessee, Georgia, where they playing at? Oh, that's the Neela, night game right? too. No, they no, play they at, at Georgia. Oh, Athens. Athens. At night. Oh, between the hedges. I'm going Georgia. I think I said because every team in the SEC. At the top of the, the spectrum, lose once or twice, gonna lose twice. This is gonna be Tennessee's next loss, and when it comes to the week mm-hmm. following, I think Texas got one coming too. So, yeah, I'm going uh, Georgia. Georgia. 
I'm going Tennessee because I think that uh, Georgia's offense hasn't been looking real impressive lately in the last few weeks. They, um, the first three games of the season, they had zero turnovers. The last six games, they got like 15. 15. Um, quarterback don't look so good. Ain't throwing yeah, no touchdowns. Um, turn it over. He just does not look confident in the pocket. Uh, I'm going Tennessee, who's 8-1 and one and who has a real good defense, who I think is going to mess with Beck. They got a really good defense. I'm going Georgia just because – I think um, Kirby get them right after yeah. a loss. After a loss. And if they beat them, that puts everybody back in play because you got Texas A&M, Alabama, that would make Tennessee, Georgia. Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss, all with two losses. All with two losses. Uh, and that makes them be in the mix. All right. And they got to stay in the mix. So I think they beat Tennessee uh, because he's going to have them ready to play. So I got Georgia. I got Jordan. Yeah, I say Tennessee. I wanted to pick a game, and I hate to just be staying all uh, SEC, which is not. But this is mo- the, maybe the closest game we could pick. That well, you picked Clemson, something. Pitt. That one, that was ACC. I know that's why I said it was. All, but because oh. I'm, I'm saying this one is going to be LSU, Florida. Um, but that's the next closest game. Um, LSU four and six and three in Florida four and five. LSU a lot of injuries, looking bad offensively. That's a hard ass game. Um, yeah, if my quarterback playing, not playing, it, I don't want to pick that game. Um, <laughs> he might play. I mean, you can't. He, he might play. But I and can't, pick, I can't change it with, in the, in the middle of nope, the week. No, no, no. What you say is what you say. Right. You know, it's like me changing but it no, the first, man, uh, first quarter. Are they? Well, man, Ben Hill Griffin. What are they at? Um, in the swamp. Ben Hill Shit. Griffin. Uh, they look good. The first, they, the first little little. But yesterday, water. got all that destroyed. Oh, they look good first quarter. Did you watch it? Against Texas? Yeah, the first game. Oh, no. Like, not hell no. Nah, that one, like, they no, got no, out here. Never mind. 28 nothing yeah, quick. I'm about I must have been thinking about something else. I, yeah. It was it was something nothing for a long time. 28 nothing <laughs> quick. <laughs> but uh, if we got to gotta pick this one, I got to go LSU, man. I don't know what my quarterback looked like. So I got to go LSU. Y'all you have know a quarterback. Like. Um. And sometimes shit coming off bad. a coming off a loss against Bama where your defense gave up a whole lot, my team just don't got it, and I'm injured too. So I'm gonna go LSU. I think that y'all are playing for something. We're playing for nothing. I'm still gonna pick LSU, but I think that Florida. <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> I think like y'all announced this week that y'all keeping y'all coach. So I think that those players who want to play for him is gonna come in and show that hey, we want to play for you. We are gonna show you what we bringing next. But you're year. gonna still pick LSU. I'm still gonna pick LSU gotcha. because no, talent yeah, wise, yeah. I don't know, man. It's just a. I'm going we'll LSU. Off, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not picking too. Clemson. LSU, and I don't have no reason other than I'm just gonna blindly pick. LSU, I don't know what Florida want to be. I don't know what LSU want to be, but I think they got more cohesiveness yeah. than than Florida. They were talking. Uh, I was watching NFL. I don't know if y'all caught this, but they were saying that uh, a proposed a, whole a proposed a proposed rule is that the NFL would get rid of onside kicks, and instead of doing an onside kick, maybe make it like a fourth and twelve situation, winner take all. So fourth and twelve, you, if you get it, that's your onside kick. You get the ball, place it. Go to work. I ain't mad at it. I think it's safer too, cause onside kicks can be dangerous. Like you kicking that bitch, and you Fuck really they got niggas really just taught to go run through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you shit. might well just get these niggas. I ain't mad at it as long as it's some point. And they, and they and they saying flags, like they, they said that the percentage on onside kicks is like stupid low. Nobody yeah, hardly ever get one percent. And they said this make it more competitive. So they line it up maybe a fourth and twelve or fourth and fifteen. If you get it, you I get like, the ball. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at that. Stop messing with football. You got to. Like, it's the most popular sport. Like, leave it alone. You it got, makes it, you in make a it sense, safer. it's making it more competitive. Yeah. All right. So, say I'm down and it's two minutes left. So, I got to line up and go for a fourth and 12? On the onside kick? You got a better chance. Or onside kick. Or What's onside the percentage kick? Is, is that? It, I don't know what the percentage is, but it makes it uh, an exciting play versus just kicking it and you know they're not going to get it. For the I'm most part, sure it's a lot more yeah, it's a, lot, it's a higher percentage. percentage. Okay, it's but okay, it's easy to convert a fourth and twelve. Not easy, but it's easier probably than an onside kick. But if I'm kicking your ass, I don't want you to because fourth and twelve, you can't, you can't play too soft of a coverage because it'd be they're like pass something. interference. They're gonna add ball, something else in there. You see what I'm saying? They added something else in there too. Onside though. kick, be that's all I know. No, they added something else in there too to not that rule, but the previous, which makes sense. Your team has to be down. Which is still like, nigga, I want an onside kick whenever I want to, if I wanted to also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. And with these new rules, Devin Hester is in the Hall of Famer. Like, you're taking away some of the. Oh. Yeah, he still would have He still could kick returns. Still right. punt returns. They just they don't get, get to run. They don't have kick returns anymore. They, they do. Pretty they much do. the outlaw. Nigga just shit. don't run them all. What you, right. What do you mean? They still kick the ball off. 
They just yeah. not running as far. Matter of fact, he might would have more. Yeah, yeah. Making one man missing you. Man, no. Like, very few teams or very few times return the ball at all. They fair catching it because it makes more sense. Team Devin Hester. De- right. There you go. <laughs> Devin Hester with yeah, the ran. Oh, another gill. One, one, extra fair. One of the boys the Super Bowl. I don't know if he's doing that with these new rules. Jacoby taking it out there. He caught, he was already with 109. Jacoby taking it out. Oh, one, he he that, he took he off. Caught that bitch full stride. Yeah. Man, stop messing with football. I like it if you're going to evolve it. You like I said, that fourth and twelve shit can... pretty dangerous. Though. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I'm if I'm the team that's winning and I gotta defend the team that's going fourth and twelve, I got you put my ball on the aisle and pass interference down. You get the foul. You know what I'm saying? Versus an onside kick where, like you said, the percentages is low. I'm nine times ten gonna get that bitch and I can mm-hmm. close the game out. But the whole purpose is to make it more competitive. I won the game in the four quarters. <laughs> <Right. laughs> the three prime quarters. I don't care nothing about it. You had 40, what? 40, I won. What, yeah. what you had like forty eight minutes? Is it forty eight or sixty? 60. The NFL care about every sixty in a minute. So not just okay. 59, 59. You had sixty minutes to win this game. Make it more interesting. You get more people to watch. I get it, man. No, I get it. You ain't gonna get my people to watch. We just gonna be the same motherfuckers watching the same. Place. I think I get gonna, it. Just like that, uh, M, that NBA in season tournament, man. Get that shit out of basketball. Bro. Yeah, I think it make it more exciting though. Honestly, that one little play that that crunch time, like nigga gonna be glued. Like, ooh, the nigga, damn. <laughs> Plus, I hate the hands team. That shit hurt. <laughs> you was on the hands. Why team? was you on hands team? Right. Most teams, the backup quarterback is always on hands team. But you play quarterback. I had hands, nigga. What you mean? That's why. I wasn't out there. hands hooded. I wasn't out there because I kept dropping the bitch. <laughs> I would have I would have purposely not caught that motherfucker so they wouldn't you. I don't know if you out there on my hand team. <laughs> yeah, was it? Yeah, I would. Who was it? He was the he was the returner guy. I was there. up front. I was on the they, second line. That nigga had his hand. Up front. I was on the second line. They put that nigga back there at the uh hey, in practice hey, or hey, he was the kickoff returner. <laughs> Well, when you really think about it, UAB probably only had the hands team on the field twice. Our whole career for real, man. So I remember much. backup receivers and not you. Tight ends. Cause maybe. you were, you why would you remember that? You wasn't there, you wasn't out there, you wasn't right. I wasn't down there. The roster of people. Oh, look who's on hands team. Nigga, you I can't wasn't there. you on the motherfucking I wasn't hands there. Team. Who? Hmm? I wasn't there at the game. You was there, can't get right. You're yeah, I ain't seen no number game. ten. Hands you remember when Hands team came out, huh? Yeah. Okay. I was like, damn, look at who. No, nah, I ain't never. Then you must have been that. at you must have been at Bell then when it happened. No. So you was out there. Oh, oh yes, on Hands team. <laughs> and I why, why would I sit here saying, I wish I wasn't on Hands team because it hurt, but I'm alive about doing it. Did you that have to recover the How many times you it to you? How many times you you did it, Who? I don't, like I said, UAB only really had onside kick because we wasn't up that much. It was only like twice in my whole career for real. Did you recover that bitch? Or they didn't kick Hell it no, you? I ain't recover. Well, see your ass on hands, team. Man, <laughs> man, I remember RIP grip being on hands, seeing catching the ball. Okay, got it right. And that's it. Okay. It wasn't you. Okay. Yeah. Remember you on no team. But hey. <laughs> Goddamn the hands, Smoky. team. A quarterback that can't throw. They go put on hair seat. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I used to run a lot of quarterback sneaks. <laughs> what the? <laughs> f- <laughs> I know who didn't. Quarterback sneak to the right side. Yeah. I know. I know who didn't though. Yeah. East, East Lake Cowboys in the Sugar Bear Bowl. Yeah. Nigga, fuck wrong with you. Fuck wrong with you. My boy, the sugar. Moving Bro. on into the dummy of the week. We did it. Dummy, <laughs> dumb ass, dummy. stupid ass, dummy. Walker, Flocker, Flame. Bring your motherfucking ass to the Flocker. Flocker. Walker Flocker has been on a, a roll telling people that they can't come if they don't vote for Trump to his shows. They ain't getting mad now that people are counseling him because of his votes and all of that good shit. But the reason why I'm bringing him to the principal's office, he been talking all this voting shit and people need to, who they going to vote for and who, only to find out that Walker ain't voted, period. Right. <laughs> Flocker. Huh? The hypocrisy of that. And not even that. He also got mad at one of his concerts and said, if you voted for Biden, get out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so how you, you, how you, I don't understand how you're going to say that and then you get mad that somebody cancels your stuff from your views when you're doing the same thing to others because of their views. Facts. Yeah. And you can't have it both ways. But more so, if you're trying to encourage people to participate 
you at least probably need to have voted. Now, I will say that shit fucks you up because you can't type in the name. Somebody did me like that, and they like, your ass ain't been voting, and they sent it, but I voted, so. So that shit not right? Uh, well, no, no, it was, it, no, it was right. It, I, I didn't do the, uh, the, the, mid, the, the, the two in between. The midterm. Yeah, I did the uh, presidential boys. Uh, I, I sat out the mid. I forgot. I feel, I feel like one of them days, like man, I ain't got time to get looking at them ballots. Man, I'm like, I don't know none of these people. Some and some of them don't have but one person. I need to go run on. Yeah, that's other Alabama side. for you, right Rep- there. Oh, Bulls. that's why y'all don't be getting jury duty. Yeah, we out there. I ain't never had jury duty. Why don't you pick a nigga? Not nigga, not because the bitch gonna be in not, the mail in the morning. Right. <laughs> You've been summoned. Mm. Well, on that note, that uh, Walker, you are the dummy of the week. You earned the trophy. Dummy, dumb ass, dumb. stupid ass. Dummy. I'm more impressed that the boy have a show. Like, I don't, that's the more impressive part. I wonder what he rapping him. Is he rapping? Flocker. Two songs. No hands. No hands, and I go hard in the paint. Oh, Walker yeah. had a little run. Yeah, he had a run. Mm-hmm. When he stopped fucking with Gucci, though, it it slowed up. I mean, about three, four songs at max. Damn. Well, in other news information, we forgot to add on to talk about why we uh, still here. Oh, who? Sorry, y'all pause. Ooh, pause. Yeah, 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 ooh, yeah. yeah. Let me ooh him before ooh. my name. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> he said, ooh. <laughs> what? Wow. What? That's nuts. Whoa. Yellow songs start back tonight. Oh. So that's what the ooh was about now. Oh. But, I didn't know they was coming back just yet. Yep. Penguin come on tonight, too. Mm. Yeah. Ping with fire for me. I just can't start it for some reason. I just can't press the button. You need to start it, but that be fire from start to yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got what? About six, seven episodes Think built seven. up? Yeah. You to me, it's like Sopranos meet Batman. Mm. Sopranos meet Because it got that New York accent, that mob accent, yeah, that, you know. It's cool. It's cool. I it. might be done with From. That's I, ain't start, I still ain't start yet. I'm going to wait. How many episodes it is? Where you at now? Probably six. The last one I yeah. watched it this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, but well, last I'm caught up well, on everything. That's all I've been doing at eleven all. last night. That's what I've been doing all week. Once I got back, I just watching none but TV food. I'm caught up on everything. Mm-hmm. So Tulsa King, what else? On, that's on Paramount. Tulsa King, what else? What else? What else? On uh, I just watched Tulsa King and From mm-hmm. on Paramount. Oh, that's on no. AMC. Tulsa, I mean, from is on MGM and Tulsa King is on Paramount. And uh, I, I finished up, well, I'm watching right now, The Lincoln Lawyer on Netflix. He got the third season out. Oh, yeah, I finished that. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, because I watched that crazy Mendez brother shit. Yeah, that was fire. Yeah, yeah. that shit was fire. The Mendez, yeah. y'all, we all watch that Mendez brother shit. <laughs> yeah. <Self-a-dubbing. laughs> that Mendez. <laughs> you yeah. forgot a few letters, G. Mendez. <laughs> he ain't pushed the button on <laughs> himself. Yeah, right. Give yourself a word, dude. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. Uh, but yeah, it's fire. Like it's, it's, it's a wild story. It's man. something out there, and I'm trying to think of it. Man, they should get out. If that shit true, hey, if you, yeah, they should get out. Yeah, it, that's, that's, if that one, them stories are true, that's some wild stuff to go through as a kid with your parents or your daddy. Yeah, that shit was kind of crazy. So, ugh. tough though. Yeah. Who you had an abuse? I had a shot on too. Not, yeah. about, not like God that, fool. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying like that. But, you know, that was wild. You kind of said it was like that. Right. I had a random <laughs> hood nigga. God, like you, you, you. It just had a little barbed wire. Barbed wire, and you, and you played, you know, little pool stick here. Yeah. Whatever you know how that might them some of the mama. Whatever your mama pick up. I told that old Christ. Christ. Whatever your mama pick up and swing at you. You know how it goes. But don't feel bad. I had high See, high iron, high iron. I don't know where we went just then. Hell, let's get this out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll be back next week like we never left. Because like we say every week, we never leave. You dig? Bye-bye. I don't know where she get a pool stick from. She never played pool before. <laughs> she got it for the burger. <laughs>